Audio check. Beep, 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 beep. I know, I know, I was a little bit late, but I was, I was looking at Twitter and getting angry. <laughs> I was, I was, I was looking at Twitter and getting angry. Hmm. Where are they? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not muted. Classic, yeah. Silver bell? Yeah, the silver bell shit. People are fucking assholes. Not silver bell. Silver bell's not the asshole. The fucking people going after her are, and I hope they all fucking kill themselves. Actual fucking inbreds. Say the word, then come be be Twitter can make anyone angry. Nintendo thing, you're 1,000 crocodiles. Can't believe Pippa finally just eat it. So then, grats! What happened? There's a- there's a whole lot of shit. I'm not- I'm not gonna get into all of it, but like, the one thing that's like, really pissing me off... ...is something that like, she didn't even fucking do, right? Like, you can't- you can't- you can't even debate it. You can't argue it. People are fucking getting mad at Silverville for, quote-unquote, muting the word trans in her chat. But she literally did not. It's just the fucking Twitch automod. People are fucking... ...deliberately spreading misinformation? ...to try and fucking shit on Silver Bell. And it's just... it's just not... it's just... it's just... There's literally no debate. Like, you people are actually... You people are actually just being malicious pieces of shit. There is no, oh, well, let's look at the other side of things, or like... Oh, well, you know, I can kind of see where they're coming from. They're actively being malicious. And I hope they fucking kill themselves. It's... it's just... I don't... I don't understand people, chat. I just don't understand people. And it's... I... Sometimes... Chat, this is gonna sound bad. But like, sometimes when... Bigger streamers and stuff get in the hot water, I'm kinda like... Well, you're a shitty person anyway, so fuck you. But like, Silverville has never done anything to anyone. She's always been super fucking sweet. Like, I don't... There is no, like, roundabout karmic retribution here or whatever. She's a good fucking person. So the shit is just extra infuriating. But anyways, anyways. Malcolm Lang, thank you for those VTuber brains! Twitter, damn it, that's kinda ableist! <laughs> I just... Oh, God. And then there was the Mr. Beast shit. The Mr. Beast shit, too, with, like... Fucking... C c curing, curing blindness is ableist because you're saying that wasn't Silver Bell, by the way. That was uh, people going after Mr. Beast. People going after Mr. Beast for his curing blindness video is like, brah, brah. Ah, why are you fucking people like this? Why are you people so stupid? Why are you actually? Do you wake up like this? Do you choose to be like that? You have to choose to be like it. It has to... Chat, it has to be some sort of like 5D fucking chess. And I just don't understand because I'm too... I'm too small brain. I'm too small brain. I don't fucking understand the whole fucking social hierarchy fucking... Aristocracy of the fucking social culture blah 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 blah. But you people... Fucking suck. Like, I just... <laughs> you people are actually insufferable, and if your goal is just to make other people mad, you're doing a great fucking job of it. You're doing a great job. And I hope there is a hell. Because people like you... ...who wake up every day and decide you're just gonna try and create as much fucking chaos in the universe as possible... You're just a bad person. You're just straight up a bad person. And the worst part about it is, is you masquerade as if you're a good person. These people masquerade as if they're good fucking people, but they're doing it for evil intent. And maybe, it, maybe there's like some sort of cognitive dissonance. Maybe there's some sort of like cognitive dissonance and they're like, yeah, I'm being evil, but I'm doing it for like a good cause because actually everybody else is bad. But then like the lack of self-awareness there is just so... Like, that has to be mental illness, right? Like, it just has to be like a level of mental illness. Because there's just no other way. Almost like white knighting? I don't... 
I don't think so, because white knighting is for other people, right? Whereas these people are doing it for themselves under the guise of it being for other people. So I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know, chat. I don't know. Usually, I can kind of just be like, okay, well, Twitter is being stupid. It's kind of annoying, whatever. But it's like... The extent of which... They're attacking people. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because they're fellow VTubers or whatever. But like first it was the Pika Me thing, right? First it was people going after Pika Me. And I was kind of like, well... That fucking sucks. Pika Me is also a good person. Literally would never hurt anybody. God bless her soul. These people who fucking bullied her into not streaming. Suck. But then to do it again and to take it a step farther... With another VTuber? It's like... You people are just actual living fucking garbage. That's so cliche, but that's just that's just what you are. There is no other way to describe you. There is no other possible way to describe you. You are just you are just scum. You're not even you're not even doing it just for like the troll lols or whatever the fuck. You're doing it. You're doing it to earn brownie points online. You're spreading lies about people. Trying to tear people down. Because you deem them the target of the day. And because they're the target of the day, it's no hold bars and you get to try and... You get to try and destroy their life. It's just... It's just fucking batshit. It's actually fucking batshit. These people are actually mentally ill, chat. They're going to... They're going to add this shit. What's that fucking... Almanac or whatever the hell it's called? The, the CBC or whatever the fuck. The... The, the Compendium of Mental Illness. There, there's going to be a new mental illness defined by these DSM, the DSM. The, it's going to get added to the fucking DSM. These people. It's like mass hysteria mixed with narcissism mixed with psychopathy, chat. These people are fucking... Put them in an asylum. Just put them in a fucking asylum. Okay, let's play the cat game. <laughs> Let's play the fucking cat game. I'm just so bad, Chad! I'm sorry! <laughs> Twitter syndrome. They're gonna call it Twitter syndrome. They're gonna call it Twitter activist syndrome. God. The DMV, yeah. I'm not telling you like people speaking the truth. I'm proud of my little sis. It's just like... I just... I don't know. Like, words just can't describe, Chad. Just words cannot fucking describe. This isn't like, oh, it's easy content to make fun of these people or to shit on them or whatever. This is just, they are actually fucking evil. And... I don't know, maybe I'm just taking more notice now because the streamers that they go after. But it's like... I don't know, is it just me or does it feel like... Female streamers just do seem to be their target. Like, it seems like these people really like going after female streamers. I don't know. Ah, anyways. <laughs> jealous? They probably are jealous bitches. Just, just full stop. They probably just... Unironically are jealous bitches. Quite as they were the those happy anniversary, Pippa. Anniversary. Don't worry, then here's a twenty dollars eternal reminder that vanilla is the objective, indisputable best girl, and anyone that thinks otherwise is wrong. I was really quick, I think, my dollar to get him. Account inactive, thank you for the five dollars. When cloning reaches perfection, I'm coming for your brain. Now that's kind of weird. I'll just keep watching stream. Good enough. What? Uh, sustained depression, thank you for the dollars. Pippa ranting at the beginning of stream. Now it's gonna be a good stream. JP, thank you for the It's not even the same thought process behind old time Puritans believing they were right in burning witches. Oh, oh, it's not new. It is the same. It really is. It, it really fucking is. Right out of the fucking crucible. Quaidas, or Quaidas, thank you for the $50. Do you remember what day it is? It's such a special day. It is... It, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what day it is. Quaidas, thank you for the $100. Today is the ascendance of a bookworm book club anniversary. Yay, you should only do book club rebellion to... Oh my god. Really? Thank you for the $25. Me and... Me and the boys have played up to volume 4, starting for soon in college and take a shop every time a character comes in this accursed series. You should not do the same, also Maple Best Cat, Vanilla Fans, and Shambles. 
see, I haven't played, so I can't pick a favorite yet. But I will say, the blonde one with the heterochromia is just my type. Super Condor, then come pick pee-pee. Super Condor, then you're going to pee I guess you can pick pee Vanilla Supremacy. Is that coconut? Coconut is really fucking nice looking. I do like vanilla. I can do it by thinking $2. I've been a big, bad big brother, Pippa. Please yell at me. What the fuck? Uh, Gwen is thinking about the 96 cents. How do you do, Pippa? Forget Twitter. Think of happier things like today. Oh, oh, and that began the sentence of a bookworm thing. Gwen is thinking about 38 cents. Hello, Pippa. Super Dog's thinking about the five dollars. Good thing Susan is gone forever, eh? Yeah, Susan's gone forever, and now I can't wait for, like, YouTube to enact a whole bunch of horrific policies. Like, you're not allowed to even talk about it. Listen, listen, listen. YouTube? There's two ways... There's three ways this can go. Number one is literally nothing changes. Number two, things get a tiny bit better. Just to trick you into liking the new CEO, and then things are gonna get worse. And three... They're just gonna get worse full stop and become more like Twitch. The new CEO is an NFT guy. Oh, well, I guess... I guess scams aren't gonna be banned anymore. Uh, but I wish I could think $20. It's probably a combination of jealousy wanting attention with the Twitter crazies. Anyways, cat gave me kazaa! I'll tell you, with the $2, Pippa playing the game Goodo wants to play. Uh, Ghost Politics thing for $20. Good luck at work today, honey! Oh, thank you, Ghost Politics! Well, to come you think I'm a kippy stream just started my but it's already spin facts. This one's gonna be a banger. I'm just reading cat game. I'm just reading cat game. I don't I don't really think it's gonna be a banger. But we'll see. I shouldn't say that. I should trick you guys into being super hyped up. That's the one thing with $50. Here any exercise for the good of its victims is the most impressive, omnipotent, moral busybodies. Those who torment us for our own good will torment us without end. They do so with the approval of their con their own conscience. These people would literally be if what all high spoons you have a vanilla profile picture, cannot believe you're playing my favorite cat game. I got no thing to do. Susan is ducking subpoenas, or so I hear. Ooh. These people would be the torturers of hell. Thank you very much. I'm heading out now. <laughs> Here come the terrible. Oh no, this is pausing. Okay. Hey, JG Dog, thing of five dollars, mass hysteria, and overstimulation of information, greatest pairing for PSYOPs since the beginning of man. Uh, postal Nate, thing for the five dollars. Let's go back to the old internet. Pippa make an angel fire website. Ah! Ah! Oh god! Phew! This should be most of the boxes then. I wipe the sweat off of my forearm. Forehead. Forehead with my arm! As the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Ah! Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have any signage yet. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown... Did I remark that I went live? I'm gonna hit the buttons again just to be safe. White and brown motif. There was also a large window which lit lots of sunlight in. And finally, there were words that displayed the name of the bakery. La Soleil. Instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew despite the stature of my family's name and everything that had happened up until now. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. Cat sex. In exchange for what- or for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Cat sex. Still, cat sex. Although I was a bit worried. The thought of what lay ahead of me- wait, lay ahead made me break into a smile. Cat sex. Alright. In any case, I'd better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. By the way, I just downloaded this off Steam, so I don't know if, um... <laughs> I don't- I don't know if this is the not safe for work version. I think you have to download a separate patch for that, but I don't know. Let's fuck around and find out. Ha! I stepped into the new smelling bakery. I'm assuming Steam is safe. Safe? Yeah, okay. I figured. The not safe for work one is a paid DLC, huh? Hmm? What's with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. You know, I like how this is getting to the point so far. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate. 
Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. Quick, quick little tangent thing. I fucking... I used to really enjoy playing visual novels. I used to stock the, the Rempi forums. I think it was Lemisoft? Emisoft? Whatever the fuck it was called. I used to I used to stock their forums for like small little indie visual novels to play and stuff. But um God, I got so burnt out on them. I got I got so fucking burnt out on them. Because there was like this there was like this trend where like the higher quality ones, quote unquote. The higher quality visual novels, dude. It's like, oh wow, we have a hundred thousand words. 14 hours of playtime. No bitch. No bitch. Five hours of introduction. Maybe like four choices. No meaningful different endings. Just filler. Yeah, it was it was it was insufferable. It was fucking insufferable. I tried playing just the last one the last one I ever tried playing. I forget what it was called. Um Sakura Angels. I think that was it? No. Maybe that was it? I don't know. I tried... I tried playing... Some fucking visual novel and I just... I got... I got burnt out. I got... I got... I got burnt out. I got... I got so fucking burnt out. It was... It was like four hours in and nothing had fucking happened like at all. Soccer games are trash. Little junk food begins with big boobas and nothing of value. Soccer games are a scheme. I don't remember if it was that one specifically or... I don't know. It's in my library but... God. So many visual novels are trash, chat. So many visual novels are just... Like, you want to complain about Genshin's filler dialogue? Holy shit. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. I mean, they're getting annoying. They're pieces of paper. Shut the fuck up. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. Oh! Oh god! I can't use the scroll wheel! Uh... Alex Hale and Dolores Pippa should play Fate Stay Night next! File and easing with five dollars. Hi, Pips! You ever just want to lay... In a tub of nacho cheese and pretend you're a tortilla chip piranha? That's one of my fetishes. Cheesy pip piranha. What the fuck? What? Basil so Cutting, do you kind of watch Shoujo play through when? I wonder if Kick does allow nudity. The best madness thing, Fad Lords, there was a visual novel series I kept up. I kept up and every character's name was a single letter. Just a tad bit frustrating. What? Because Fate Say Night oh, has nudity, right? Isn't it like they redraw the uh, in, in 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 the original Fates games? They like recharge their mana, their sex. Which begs the question: like Ilya and Berserker. I'm not gonna think about that. The man thing for the has got to play the Snoot game, a modern VN by the Bros for the Bros. Alex Tavera, thank you for the two dollars. I just realized you kind of talk like excuse. You no, know, I don't. No, I don't. Oh god, I never thought about that. Well, now you did. <laughs> now you just did. <laughs> so anyways. First off, there were boxes that looked like they came from my house. <laughs> if these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There's no tags from the moving company either. Which are nothing, Fred Lars. The Roomba's parents sued me for everything I have. I'm giving you the last of my money to declare bankruptcy so I, they don't get a penny out of me. Oh my god. All there were... Uh, all there was were they... The, I chose a game where you have to read, but I can't fucking read. It was anime XQC! Shut up! You should play Katawa Shoujo next. I'll look at... I'll, 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 I'll see what I can do. Well. I'll know for sure once I open the... Girls incoming. Cat girls incoming. Oh, it's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Phew! Thank goodness. Looks like that fooled him. Oh wait, no, it's easier. Oh. But I don't know which one's talking. Phew! Thank goodness! Looks like that one fooled him! 
That was close. Chocolate better be careful, Mew. Let that one fool me! What are you doing, Chocolate? saw each other at home yesterday, you know. Well, um, that is true, Chakra guesses. <laughs> just read normally. Should I just read normally? Uh, Ionized D thing, Dolores. Oh, we're still back. Greeley thing, Dolores, schizophrenia. What? Pumador Luigi. Hey, we're two dollars, it's begun. Just read normally. Okay, frozen shark thing, five dollars. A cat is fine too. Also, hope you're not around any trains with unusual black smoke because there's totally nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about! Ah, more importantly than that, listen up! These movers. Oh, those movers were really mean. So they were picking up Chakla, right? And they said, This box is heavy, so be careful with it. Chakla wanted to hiss at them all of a sudden. Chakla really did! Chakla did her best to control her temper, but Chakla was fuming, you know? Absolutely fuming! Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chakla puffs out, puffed out her cheeks. You could say she was always happy-go-lucky. Or, rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Oh, the voice, the boy voice! Uh, JP thing of the 30 cents, setting Pippa saying, My master is my ringtone! Hold up, I'm an Emily dealer. Cringe, I love it! Dancing with the five dollars is bad. I think when we could do these characters' voices justice, well, she should play Nakopara. Ragama, thank you for five dollars. I really love coconut ice cream. Uh, Frozen Shark, thank you for the five dollars. A cat is fine too. Hope you're not. Oh, I read that. Read it like Moe Cat Girl? You guys flip flop so much! And for a crimson thing, do like coconuts with ASCII beans? Not a fuck thing, do like to the Moe voice. Spoon thing for the tier list of Nakopara girls is vanilla, then maple, then the rest do not matter. Oh, okay. Do a poll? Alright, I'll do a poll. I'll do a goddamn poll. Uh, why is YouTube so laggy? I hope new CEO fixes that. Moi. Normal. Coconut ice cream with peanut topping? Is this a, is this an in-joke I don't understand yet? Is this an in-joke? Can somebody explain? I'm like you. Super Chats is NFTs? What? Full weeb! Just go full on ironic weeb like we're back in 2012? The end of the weeb era? I think 2012 was probably the end, right? I feel like... I feel like weeb stuff died... after that. Maybe I'm crazy. Looks surprising. Doors, wait, in the not safe work, do you get to with them? Yeah, in the not safe work version, which you can buy off of the official Nakapara website, or you can buy the DLC on Steam, I guess, you get to have sex with the cats. Like Skittles thing with the two doors. Honey Pop playthrough? When it's a rite of passage. Oh. Is it pronounced Honey Pop or Honey Pop? Habito Linger, $10, thanks for streaming one of my favorite vi uh, visual novels. I've been a fan of Sayori before she made Nekopara and even got her autograph some years ago. No and Aski are great! Honey? Okay, Chad's voting my voice. Oh boy. Well. Here's where all the people who were not into anime and I was the only VTuber they watched go to die. Well, I guess that's how you'd describe Chocola. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. <laughs> to 
filter stream, the ultimate filter. <laughs> hey. Oh no, Pippa, reconsider. <laughs> oh, ah, cat! 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 Cat sex! Okay, maybe vanilla is cuter. Maybe, maybe vanilla is cuter. That's the one going. Nagapara is one of the most boring pieces of media I've ever experienced. Literally. Oh wait. Uh. Also, Shiro only had to have sex to transfer magic because he was a bad wizard. Oh. Colonel, thank you for the 126. Can I have a happy birthday, please, in a moe voice? Happy birthday to you too. It's not my birthday. You're not getting the moe voice. Happy birthday, Colonel. Happy birthday to Colonel! Happy birthday to Colonel! Happy birthday, dear Colonel! Happy birthday to you! Zagalan, thank you for those weep stuff died out. Pippa, you are literally an anime girl yourself. What do you what do you think makes weep stuff died out? I mean fair, but like I feel like I feel like the weep culture has has toned down a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot less unironic nowadays. Poor Max Smiley thing with the two dollars. This is getting out of hand. Now there's two of them. Could you buy a thing with five dollars? This game is just bestiality with extra steps. The man thing with two dollars. The child thing with two dollars. Have you seen Seth's review of this? I have not. The shirt thing with one dollar. Now a thing with two dollars. I was petting this cat. And now my hand is stuck. That's a hard thing with two dollars. Will you download the patch after the stream ends? No, I will not. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold off on super chat because we got really distracted. Long time no see, Master. My nose was itchy because the inside of the moving truck was dusty. Why is Vanilla here too? Whoever Chakla is, I am too. Besides, cat girls don't dislike tight spaces. Also, they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it in regards to me too. So I was also mad, just steaming. Again, huh? In any case, Chakla, Vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyway, uh, anyhow, Chocolate and Vanilla got out of their boxes. They got her fat! They did! Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is she good at doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chocolate and Vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into society. As pets and families or partners to humans. I can't believe Elon was like a good guy in this universe. That's crazy. My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So our family has six including Chocola and Vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible, for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. TBD thing, Vandalors. Use your anime voice to read it, do it? No. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigure's doing. I see, so Shigure was an accomplice then. Ah, cute! This is really a pretty home! Chocla really likes the smell of new bedding and furniture! It's bigger than it looks. Perfect for Master's abilities. Vanilla, over there! Over <laughs> there! Let's take a look at that room! Time to explore! From where it is, I suspect that it is a bedroom. Master's new bed must be in there. We can't miss that! Let's go snuggle in it! Snuggle time! Snuggling is... <laughs> Snuggling acknowledged. That is fine by me. Press P? No, we can't. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! With that decided, let's go. 
Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. Oh, by technology. Yeah. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor. You can pet them? How do you pet them? How do you pet them? Oh, you can pet them in volume 2, 3, and 4. Uh. Try shaking the window around as well? So I was worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore either. So I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that... I looked up an address in my phone's address book. Mina Duki Residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything. So for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shigure soon anyhow. She's cute. They finished snuggling on Master's bed! The new bed is very fluffy. It gets a passing score. Good work, you two. <laughs> Gosh, both of you had major bedhead. Sheesh. Huh? Chuckle loves it when Master rubs her head. Feels good. I have no objections to this. More. I tidied up their hair with a comb. <gasps> Cute. <laughs> their soft hair felt nice as always. I lightly bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? You said you wouldn't bring us with you, so we had no choice! Chakula said she was going, so I tagged along. You had no choice? Just tagged along? You two. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intentions of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just... You made them sad, you son of a bitch! Oh. They're hungry. Th that's not it! It's just that, um... Chuggle's stomach is just being rebellious! So, that's not it, really! Master moved out really early in the morning, so there was no time to eat breakfast. The sound of Chocolate's stomach rumbling is cute anyways. While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past 1 o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? can be annoying. These cats are cute. It's okay. Take care of your pet indentured servants. Yeah, we, we gotta take care of our... <laughs> they're really... They're really not... You know what? They're, they're people. They're people. They just have cat ears and cat tail. Right? I mean, like, look at them, chat. They're people. They're people. Jose Pimentel, my lord, is a... Cuter voice panda. Yay! Food! Chocola loves Master! Understanding as ever, Master. We are in your debt. These two are as easygoing as always. They're women. They're women! Oh. I'm getting fired up, meow. Meat, huh? Must be meat. This is cute. Submissive and writable! Uh, book building. Do I say it in Japanese? I refuse. Shopping! Shopping! Shopping together with Master! Meow! Lately, Master hasn't taken us shopping with him at all. So that's why Chocla is in such a good mood right now. Meow. Press J? Oh? Oh, it shows the original Japanese. Oh god, I, now I can't get rid of it. Now I can't get rid of it. What the fuck? No, 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 I'm confused! How do I fix it? How do I fix it? Ah! <laughs> uh... Eh? 
Oh, okay. <laughs> reps time! I mean, that is good to know. This would be good to, like, practice reps on. But not right now. <laughs> You're really happy too, right, Vanilla? Come on. Chuckle is gonna squish your cheeks. Uh, Chuckle, that tickles. Uh, don't. You'll bother those around us. So try not to get too carried away, you two. Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities among them. If you come here, we have just about everything. That's how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Wait, don't you two go shopping with Sugare often? Oh, shopping with Shigure, Chan, and shopping with Master are totally different! Uh, it's troubling that Master doesn't have the proper mindset of a Master. Chakula pities you. Hey, first of all, Shigure is your Master. Shigure chan is our Master too, but Shigure chan is Shigure chan That's why Master is Master! I'm not following this conversation. It's totally different, right? 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 I don't understand your reasoning, but I can tell you're very enthusiastic, just as expected of Chakla. Patch, patch, patch. Never mind then. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store, okay? Watch it. Just not smell. Just not smell. Just not smell. Cute girls doing cute things. Just not smell. Smile away, boy. Smile away. Cute girls. It's okay. They're kind of dumb. <laughs> I parted from the two of them. They're cats. They're talking about nothing important. Cat logic, not smile. <laughs> I decided to hurry on ahead. Just enjoy the cute cats, yeah. Master, Shigure chan said this is a good shampoo! It makes your hair all smooth and smells really sweet and nice, too. But that stuff. That's stuff for you two to use. I don't need it, so put it down and come over here. It's so mean, it feels like you hit me! <laughs> They're so annoying. <laughs> now, now, don't cry, Chakula. Master is an awful person, isn't he? <laughs> don't just say that and then toss that in the basket all nonchalantly! His defense is strong. I had to be on guard or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. <laughs> Sorry, Master! It's been a long time since Chocolate went shopping with Master, so Chocolate got really excited! Cat girls are honest, so it can't be helped. It would be nice if Master was honest, too. It has nothing to do with being honest. I'm telling you, don't just put shampoo in the basket like that. Put it back. We repent! Please, Master! We beg of you! We beg of you to buy shampoo for chocolate and vanilla! <laughs> it's sad to return to a home that doesn't have shampoo. Cat girls don't like having oily hair. He won't even buy shampoo for those cat girls. Those poor things. Good fucking other pet owners. Other pet owners when you don't have like top of the line everything for your fucking animals. Fucking hate other fucking animal owners. Holy shit, chat. I wonder if we should report him for cat girl abuse. You are naughty! Don't put on some act to confuse the customers around us! Seriously! We'd only just moved here. But suddenly we already had disapproving glares directed at us. They're cats that can lick their hair clean. That's true! Going out with Master is lots of fun! It makes me want to start buying meow meow! He didn't buy us anything though. Master is such a cheapskate. I'm not a cheapskate! Besides, I nearly got reported! After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. 
The whole thing was so awkward that I don't, don't think I can visit that shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was the cute side of cat girls. <laughs> Something smells really nice over there. You're right! Something smells really good, Master! It definitely does. What is this smell? I turn towards the source of it. Would you like to try something... Would you like to try some delicious, fresh takoyaki? Would you like to try some piping hot takoyaki with lots of bo bonito flakes on top? Correct her! What? <laughs> it's a takoyaki shop run by a cat girl! That's pretty rare, huh, master? Indeed, that little cat girl is cute. It was a cat girl younger than Chocola and Vanilla. She waved her tiny hands as politely to drew as she politely drew customers in. In human terms, she looked like she was about twelve or thirteen years old. In cat years, she was about six months old. <gasps> the young cat girl noticed us and ran over. <laughs> it's an older sister cat girl, just like me, huh, Mew Mew? Mm-hmm. Chocolate is the same as you, Mew Mew. Chocolate's gonna rub your neck! Wow, wow. <laughs> There's no jiggle. Young cat girls are so innocent and super cute. They're the best. I'll pat your head. Pat, pat. I'm sorry that my cat girl is troubling you. Oh, are you the owner of those cat girls? The owner of the food stand greeted us. Yes, I am... Uh, well, to be more exact, my little sister is their owner. They're cute and smart cat girls, aren't they? They're so cured, courteous and well-spoken, too. Mine is still only seven months old. Maybe when she's a bit older, she'll be a fine cat girl like these two. The food stand owner had a wry smile on her face like she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. Yeah, smart, quote-unquote. Our cats are fucking stupid! At a glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it easy to overlook these things. Mine were originally strays, so I don't actually know how old they are. The veterinarian said they were twins and were now about nine months old. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. Back then, they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. Shigure-chan taught us really well! She said we'd grow up to be good cat girls if we listened to her! Shigure-chan was tough on us, but thanks to her, we learned a lot. Really? What a wonderful owner you have! Ah! Uh, but... Master is Master! And Shigure-chan is Shigure-chan! Right, Master? In other words, Shigure-chan is an important friend. And when we say Master, we are referring to Master over here. This game is making me hate being a weeb. You're weak, Paco! You're weak! <laughs> You're a very well-loved master, aren't you? Well, I am grateful. She lightly nudged me with her elbow. I responded with an embarrassed, forced smile. Hearing this kind of stuff in public sure was embarrassing. Little cat girl! Why don't you look up a bit? Huh? Huh? Like this? An opening. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> the three of them were getting along very well. The food stand owner looked fondly at them from nearby. My cat girl was a stray too. On a day just like this, while I was selling takoyaki, she came up to me with an empty stomach. I took her home and she's been like a daughter to me. She's even able to help me with the shop now. Humanoid cats were all the rage, but... There are many times more difficult to take care of than regular cats. Her words seemed tinged with blame and worry. She grumbled, letting out a sigh. Not, long, not that long ago, it wasn't rare to see stray humanoid cats just wandering throughout town. But now it was more likely for one to see humanoid cats that were lo well loved by their owners. Since the amount of unfortunate humanoid cats had decreased, there was more of a balance and owners were quite elated. I really am disgusted with those who don't understand the responsibility involved in owning cat girls. But then again, if it wasn't for them, I'd have never found my cute daughter. <laughs> it was bright and honest laughed. Well, fuck, I can't read. 
prey braiding stock. Were they neutered? I don't know. What did they do with the cat girls? What did they do with the other cat girls? Yeah, decreased how? Was there like open season on cat girls? Or did they just outlaw breeding with them? I nodded in agreement. That is true. This must be like how pets find their way back to their owners. I smiled at such an uncharacteristic thought from me. Are there only cat girls? No cat boys. I think there's like the spin-off where there's cat boys. Ah, that's right! Oh, their cat sisters would like to try... Oh, would you like to try some takoyaki? It's piping hot, has a big piece of octopus in it, and is really tasty! Really tasty takoyaki? Oh, uh, but we're on our way home to have dinner. Yes, Master is going to cook for us, so... Sorry. Chocolate and Vanilla's shoulders drooped down hardenly. As they hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. Cat girl... Oh my god, Commodore Luigi. I took a look at the little takoyaki seller. Okay, three orders of takoyaki. Can you do that for me? Three orders! Her large eyes blinked as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me, chocolate and vanilla. Could you do that for me? Okay, three orders, right? Master, we've got an order! Three takoyaki! Their eyes are too far apart. No, they're not. Master! It's going to take time to get home and make food after all. Besides, I want to try the takoyaki here too. Okay, Chakula's tummy is making big growly sounds too! Chakula is really happy! Master, you're so cool. Shigure wasn't kidding when she said the Sundere older brother is a good thing. Has toxic plasmosis really become so widespread? It has. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, please choose the topping and flavor you'd like off this menu here. Since you were so nice to my cat girl, I'll throw it in free of charge. Wow! Thank you so much! Chakura likes them with mayonnaise on top! Thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, I'd like mine to be fish roll and cheese flavor. My question was completely ignored. Well, I guess I shouldn't let it bother me, huh? I wondered... ...about that as I looked at chocolate and vanilla. Happily awaiting their takoyaki in front of the food stand. Takoyaki and mayo. What is with fucking Japanese people and putting mayo on shit? That is the worst. Mayonnaise is one of the worst flavors. It is only good with tuna, I feel like. And maybe it'll like, moisten up a sandwich. But like, other than that... Mayonnaise is gross. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. There's so, there's, there's so many like, Japanese foods... ...with mayo on it. And I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Cream cheese as well. They put a lot of cream cheese on shit. I still can't get a hold of her. Were there guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. Oh, it's not- is it- is it not cream cheese? Is it, um... It's some other cheese type thing. I don't know. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it had already gotten this late. If I started another war. I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. Is it cottage cheese? Yeah, thank you for the 2 dollars. So true. Quiet. Thank you for the 950. Jesus, I'm losing my mind. Ah, JP, thank you for the 38 cents. This game is older than all the characters and features. A blue jelly thing for those who take that back. Japanese mayo is good. American mayo is nasty. Unflickable thing to They have a different mayo that's less slimy. A soy thing with the 297. American mayo is whack. I kind of like the... What is it? Avocado oil mayo? It doesn't... It doesn't taste as weird. Oh, 10 though, right? Hello, Raiders! My name's Tip King Tippa, and today we're filtering out the week with lots of... With lots of... Moe Moe Kuhn cringe. The Professor King thing with those. You've only known cheap crap grade Walmart mayo. The good mayo is awesome. The good mayo is like the one, the blue ribbed one, right? With the yellow... It's the, it's the yellow... Label with the blue? Is it... Or is it Heinz or some shit? I don't know. I don't know. It's not good. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't like it. Master! Master! 
It's been a while since we bathed together. I'll even wash your back. I hope you had a good stream, Tenma! Thank you so much for the raid! You haven't bathed with us since we've matured. Master, you pervert. Oh, cute. Cute. You haven't even grown that much. What are you two talking about? I've already grown to be elegant cat ladies! I go now, have fun with cute cat girls. Thank you, Dad! I will! <laughs> Those words are sexual harassment. You are trampling on our dignity. Besides, this is Chocolo's identity we are talking about. Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Get ready to go home? But isn't Chocolo's home Master's home? She looks a little bit like a psychopath. And I belong next to Chocola. Also, Master is cool. He looks strangely handsome. Stop feigning ignorance, you two. Cut that out. The two of them looked my way, about to distract me again. Since Shigure isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So go get ready to leave. <sighs> Chocolate and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downwards. Returning home on the same day I had moved out. It seemed to be such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way. Nor was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chocolate and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up, you two. I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With all that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. No. It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chocola said something with her head down. <coughs> hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. <coughs> no way! Chocola won't go back! <coughs> oh, you can even check over here. Chocola hates Master for saying that! What? Uh, wait! Hey, Chocola! I will also make great haste. Or rather, I'll withdraw with the speed of a cat girl. Uh, wait, stop! Vanilla, why are you running away too? Come on, come on, Master! Chocolate's over here! Chocolate's over here! <laughs> it's dangerous, so stop running around! If you fall, you get hurt! It's unnecessary to worry about cat girls like that. Although we're humanoid, cat girls are cats. Dash, dash. Maybe so in Chocolate's case, but aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on! I've got you now, Chocolate! Master, you pervert! Just where do you think you're grabbing? Master is grabbing Chocolate's chest with an iron grip. Uh, uh, I'm not! It's just because you two are running around! Yeah, an opening! Uh, hey, uh, stop it! You're still going to run? <laughs> I got you, Vanilla! Nice assist, Chakla. Go, go. Like I said, stop running! The two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. Hi, nice angel. I see they're cats, not humans. Yeah. Yeah. Take a sip. <laughs> You'll get her pregante! What? Why are you running? You seem really happy, Peppa. I... As much as I shit on it, I really like this old kind of like anime moy quote unquote cringe vibe. I like Soul Eater. Or not Soul Eater. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about Soul Eater on Twitter and I was stuck in my brain. But I did like Soul Eater and Soul Eater is very cringe now. But I was going to say I like Sword Art Online. I like Sword Art Online season one when that came out. I guess 
It's actually the first staff of season one. I didn't like the Elfheim arc. Elfheim? Whatever it's called. I didn't like that. I thought that was weird. I might I might blow some people's minds with this though, but like Fan service is not an issue to me. Like I like fan service because like it, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. But like when a show has fan service, and the show is also still trying to tell a good story, then it feels like the authors are having fun, and they know what the audience likes, and they want to make the audience happy. And that's a good feeling to me. You know? Like, it, it feels... Maybe it's because... With a lot of Western works, it feels like the author hates the audience. But with... Anime and manga, when there's fan service, especially stuff like OVAs, right? I fucking love OVAs, dude. I fucking love OVAs. I hate. Like. It feels like. It feels like people always say to, like, skip OVAs, right? Or, like, oh, it's not canon, so skip it, or whatever. But it's like. I feel like you're just fundamentally missing the point of the OVA, right? Or you're not. You're not appreciating. Maybe I'm being. Maybe I'm being the fucking asshole here, but I feel like... Or maybe I'm being pretentious, but I feel like when people say to, like, skip the LVAs or OVAs are stupid or a waste of time or whatever. Or a cash grab or whatever. I think you're just fundamentally not appreciating the love that the creators have for the work. Because if they wanted to just cash grab, right? They could just do a fucking infinite amount of Nissan ramen crossovers and they could put fucking Foreman grills in their games and shit, alright? Or product placement, alright? OVAs are not cheap to make. Like, the, the, it's not it's not that cost efficient, right? Like, you could, you could do a million other things to make a bunch of money. And to view fan service as bad because it's pandering to the fans it's just it's just so i don't know i just don't understand how you could not be appreciative of that given the state of western media but that's just my opinion not applicable thing to fan service is an issue when the story is laying bad that i do agree with because then even if they do have great love for their work it still kind of comes off as like a cheap like let's try and hook some people But when it does, when it does feel like love and effort went into the story. It hits right. It feels good. And it's, it, it's still hard to like scold them for putting in fan service to something that... Maybe isn't well written. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, okay, Pippa, everything is better in Japan. A lot of media is, yeah. Yeah, actually, a lot of media is. Live action shit? If it's like a live action adaptation of anime? No, fuck no. Fuck no. That shit's terrible, right? But like... Yeah, actually, a lot of... Like, especially animated media is way better in Japan. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I also, I also like a lot of Japanese music. I think, in general, Japanese music tends to be better than... What? Did you say Western music? Maybe just like Hollywood music. Ah. Ah. Feels like it has more soul to it. But maybe that's because... A lot of, like, the stuff that comes over, right, is a lot of... The better stuff. I don't know, just even, like... Even, like, idol culture, right? Even idol culture gets, like, a bad rap. Because, like, oh, it's so manufactured, blah, 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 blah. But, like... There's so much love and passion from those girls. There's so... They sacrifice so much of their lives... To try and put out entertainment for people, to try and make people happy. And it just feels so wildly different from, like... Like a pop star trying to get famous in the West, right? A lot of the times it's like, well... Shitting on their fans and... Well, my fans can't control me, blah blah blah. And that's not to say that fans should control... Their idols or their musicians or whatever, but... 
There's just like that... There's always that push to not be defined by whatever their audience sees them as. That, that contrarianism. And it's just not... I don't know, it just doesn't feel as pure. Industry plants? I don't have that much of an issue with industry plants. Right? Because they can still be passionate about their work, just... Just because they have a leg up... ...and they're being manufactured does not necessarily mean that they individually are not... ...pure? I don't know. What you think to those? Wokeism is con cognitive dis... What? What? <laughs> a big other thing about those current year Western comic industry is a great example of what you're describing, aka what not to do with your product. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot to try and articulate. But... Hi, Eeyore. Is Eeyore in chat? Hello, Eeyore! I saw your response to the Soul Eater thing. I do like Stein. I do like Stein. He was my first anime wallpaper, actually. <laughs> I had, um... I think it was... Him standing in the graveyard with like the... Purple sky in the background. I guess, yeah, it's not the idols that are the issue, it's the abuse of managers and the schizo fans. I agree with that, Nolan. I agree with that. Ah. Oh. So even stuff like Nekopara, right? I guess I feel like I see a lot of the pushback for games like Nekopara being like, Oh, well, it's weird. It's, it's Coomer bait. It's this, it's that. But like... You know, it might be. But there's also like a lot of love. ...and embodiments of... ...moe culture, perhaps, would be the term? It, it, it is an embodiment of, like, moe culture, and I appreciate that. Anyways... Anyway, so that's... that's, a, that's a, all to say, yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> or, yeah, I'm happy. Max Maxing of Tudor's Best Western Band? I have no idea. Aren't th like most most musicians are like assholes, so I don't know. Buff's not the the bad doors. If cat girls were real, would they get e equal rights? Probably not. Probably not. It has passion. It has passion. Anyways, anyways, sabaton, sabatons. The sabaton count as western? I guess it should, right? But it's... I have a very American centric POV. The heat sabaton confirmed. I just, I just don't tend to like lump that side of the pond in with Western. But, anyways, for now I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. I guess. Oh, I don't have guest beds or futons. Okay. While that was happening, eleven o'clock became midnight. Even if, even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had, that Shigure would call me back, it didn't happen. Europe is Western, sorry to tell you. Oh god. <laughs> so I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. Of course! We'll be sleeping in Master's bed! I will be <laughs> I will also be okay with Master's bed. Cleverly, they had even brought pajamas. I'm gonna take a sip. Sleeping before midnight, what? Yeah, cringe. Where did they get the PJs? I guess they were in the box? There's a couch. Yeah, they could sleep on the couch. DLC time? Is this the is this when the first sex scene starts? Next angel is the noise. Just wondering, would you watch an American Gladiators type show where Kimono Mimi do battle with furries? Yes. Just how much planning went into their schemes, anyway. Really, if you two sleep there, where will I? What? You're not going to sleep together with us? You tell us that this late? Master is male, but he doesn't know when to give up. The sleeping arrangements should go. Master, Chakura, me. Yaha! Being surrounded by Master and Vanilla makes Chakura happy! Don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. Oh, sex happens midway through the VN. Ah. Since we're the ones that are are intruding, we're fine with here too. We can curl up and sleep like cat girls after all. They are very praiseworthy for not asking for luxuries. We're model cat girls. We'll sleep like this then. 
I watched the two of them lie down and curl up. CG? CG? Oh, on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. Since you just moved in, you have lots of boxes, right? Apparently... Oh. Apparently, they can make a warm shelter out of them. So we'll manage somehow. That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information from, anyways? No CG. Well, they probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigure's room. Chocola isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads with picture books, though. Homeless roleplay? Where did you put their litter box? By the bed. Ah, oh, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. If it still gets cold at night in April... Oh, it still gets cold... Fuck, I can't read. It still gets pretty cold at night in April after all! Fuck. Where is Master going to sleep then? Next to Chocola? I'm going to sleep in the sofa on the li... Ah! I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. ESL... I'm not ESL! The sofa can fit one person and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. No! If that's the case, then Chocola will sleep on the sofa! Please! Sleep in the bed with Vanilla, Master! I'm more relaxed on the sofa. It's better if Chakra and Master use the bed. They moved quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in clear and stern voice. Listen up! I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your Master's orders. Understood? Uh, master... They didn't draw jiggles for this. How come the hair jiggles, but there's no titty jiggle? Fucking scammed. Master. I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. I and I think Dolores just can only read picture books too. Shut up! They lowered their heads apologetically. Turn the slider up, it's all the way up. I'm sorry, Master. <laughs> sorry, Master. They mustered out. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. Did you check the settings for the slider? I only saw one slider. The pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. Okay. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. All right. Good night, Master. Good night, Master. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Master? Um, Chocla is really sorry. Chocla caused you so much trouble. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay, it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. You gotta turn it on! What do you mean? Where? Look! Chest bounciness all the way up! Effects! Oh! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Show me! Show me the titty slider! You motherfuckers. Ignore chat. Chat's stupid. Put in the special code. Oh my god. She missed it. Shut up. Master. Now then, go to sleep. R18 patch is a separate download. That's not what I was looking for! <laughs> I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I laid down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, I'd fuck those cats. The results would just lead to more sadness. Oh, never mind. If I used kind word, kind or hopeful words, 
they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. <laughs> Pippa, no! Pippa, yes! <laughs> well, I continue to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions. They fixed it in volume 2. I played them all. Based fish! <laughs> I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Molly wasn't eating with the two large ESL. She just forgot her first language. Shut up! Um... Am I caught up? Oh, Floridy? Oh, Florian! I shut in. They were the... 213? I just said Cold Rain and Hiroyuki Sawano? Oh. Oh, is this a phone call? Regarding the situation, I want to respect Chocolo and Manila's intentions. If Chocolo and Manila agree with them, then I'll come get them. Was what she told me when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Shigure, even if you say that, I still don't think Chocolate and Manila will. By the way, Mizuma, would you whisper this morning sweet nothings to your little sister? <laughs> don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something! Huh? In any case! Uh, I'm sorry, Bob is calling me, so I need to get going. And now, Mizuma, I'll talk to you later! Uh, wait, she got it. She's a broke con. Ah, seriously? As the ruthless electronic buzz of the dropped call echoed, I stared at my phone. None of those words registered as words, but I managed to read them. <laughs> and here I thought that I could sort out all this if I could just talk to Shigure. <laughs> breakfast tastes good. <laughs> Master's breakfast always tastes good. Yeah. Chocola, there's some ketchup on your cheek. It's cutely artistic. I'll lick it off. Pena, <laughs> pena. <laughs> the cat girls in question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches incidentally contained tomato, cheese, and lettuce. With an over easy fried egg tucked inside all that, it was a simple meal. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? Is it not fun having chocolate and vanilla around, Master? Chocolate is a lot of fun, you know. With chocolate, it's a world-class level of fun! Master was really looking forward to it last night, too. Ah, calling on the trusty ham radio. I can't say they are the So I'm kind of getting them, baby. So when does Pippa whip out the barbed? Tallywhacker, you know why cats howl when they boink? Stop with the deslip- Stop with the deliberately misleading words! I sighed at their happy-go-lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. I'm running on big pee The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was straightforward. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to get started. Oh, I do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening, too. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you two. Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. Will Chocola being around cause problems for Master? She put her sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. I see. So that's how it is. Her shoulders drooped more than before. The ears which sat atop her head drooped down hardenly too. Chocola. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look on with concern. This guy's an asshole! The pain from last night pricked at my heart again. I tilted the already cooled coffee cup. As my emotions dulled, unimpeded by my judgment. Besides, besides Chocola wants to be with Master. Her usually always perky ears were drooping. 
Chocla was speaking clearly under her own volition. <laughs> this is the emotional moment! <laughs> if Chocla is here, then I am too. I think I want to be here too. Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change! However, she showed me her strong determination. Hmm... I don't remember Chocolate or Vanilla ever being this disobedient. They thought... all oh, that thought stayed at the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that... Then I wouldn't have said this. That... Understood? I'm big, big, big. I said you're ringing the noise. Cat girls, wow! I'm with Royal Boy. Thank you so very much for your business. I'm here to deliver the tea set that you ordered. I'll bring it on. I'll bring it on into the bakery. <sighs> Can't read. This should be all the boxes. If everything looks to be in order, could you please sign this invoice? She smiled brightly and brought. Out the invoice along with a pen. Okay, let's see. If I hit skip till we get to the sags now. I looked over at the sales invoice I received once more. Somehow this doesn't look like what I ordered. Huh? Is that so? Are you saying that these aren't the correct items? No, the stuff I ordered is in here too. But I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside the tiny ba tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain. It was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. I I'm sorry. I'll check with the main office right away. Could you give me a few moments? Such thing with my doors this isn't realistic. They should be staring at corners of his house and screaming. True. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Because of an error on our part, it appears that another order got mixed in with yours. I imagine that you may be in need of these items right away, Mr. Minaduki. So if at all possible, if you would be able to accept this order... Accept this order? Huh? From all this? The mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. I was at a loss for words. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. On top of that, looking at the sales envoys, I could tell that they were all contained expensive tea sets and tableware. And if I accepted it all, it would be a great work... Oh, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Um, there's still things that need doing in advance of my bakery's opening, so I don't mind accepting these. But it's going to take a while to deal with all this. Of course! I would be more than happy to help! I have to make it to my next delivery, after all! Look, you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort, too. That's right, I have a lifeline! Meow meow, what is it? I just got here, what the fresh hell am I walking into tonight? Walk away, Gabriel, walk away! Walk away and don't look back, Gabriel! Don't look back, walk away! You really saved me tonight, cat girls! Thank you, thank you all so very much! Well then, I'll be on my way! I guess that. If I was smart, I would've got water for today's stream, but I got soda. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I glanced at the table where we had finished organizing. Lowered myself into a chair and relaxed my shoulders. Soda is war, Pips, that's true. Can of soda, Coca-Cola. Master, here's some cold tea. Please enjoy it. Thanks, Chocla. Don't mind if I do. I downed the cold tea in one gulp. Somehow or another, the light meal tableware had arrived. So I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. I did say I needed any help I could find. Why do you still have teeth? Good question. And I really needed to make... Oh, I... Uh, and I really did need help this time. And the document name was Wing Boing Boing. Wing Boing. Wing Boing. Boing. Praise me, praise me, praise me, praise me, praise me! I could sense the praise me aura coming from Chocola. She had a wide smile on her face and was in a ready stance to receive my approval. 
Thanks, I couldn't have done it without you two. We and Liz supposed to go shut up. Yes, yes. It was worth it, watching from the shadows. You did well. Takara was helpful, right? Master, right? It's difficult for Master to work alone after all, right? Right? Yes, yes. Assistance from a cat girl was definitely effective. If we weren't here, I imagine you'd still be sorting boxes. You two are getting a little bit too close. They leaned forward towards me for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. But it's a different issue than the one f from before. You two have to go back home. <laughs> I can't wait. Besides, it's not like I could ask you two to work with me. Oh, to work for me or anything, okay? I know what they did with the cat girls, chat. I know what the, the population decline of cat girls. What happened? I know what happened. I'm about to blow your minds. They sold them to Chinese labor factories. Anyways, is that so? Chocla guesses it's no use then. Her shoulders drooped along with her ears and tail. The enthusiasm she showed earlier had completely disappeared. It makes sense, doesn't it? Does it? <laughs> she sighed deeply and looked disheartened. Since we're here anyways, Chocolate guesses she'll go clean up. Is this more ethical than child labor? I don't know. She trudged up to the second floor, still dejected. Jiddling on big baby cat girl gulags. Chakla isn't an idiot. I knew she was pushing herself to be bright and full of energy. But even so, this was some, wasn't something I was going to easily change my mind about. Pizza and Redoodles, Chinese pet food... Oh, factories. Juice Cyber New Type and Redoodles worked them and... No! Melvin and Redoodles sold them to Chinese... Mmm... Becker Noise and Redoodles sold... Oh my god. <laughs> it was all the more with how much she cared for me. Wait, what? What, what did that sentence mean? Is it that much of a bother for us to be here, Master? Are we bad cat girls? She spoke quietly in her usual way. Four in a row, four in a row. <laughs> I can't read that four times couple. <laughs> Manila tilted her head as she asked that question. You two aren't bad cat girls, and that's why I can't have you stay here. You can't stay here even though we aren't bad cat girls? It's because you two are good cat girls that I can't allow it. Mm. She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She stared directly at me, long and hard. Humans are hard to understand. Cat girls do not understand such things. If we like a human, we want to be near them, at the very least. That's how I feel. Manoa. I will go check on Chakra. With those words, she went upstairs. The sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared, and before long, I couldn't hear them anymore. Humans are hard to understand, huh? Inside the bakery, now devoid of anyone but myself, I repeated those words she had just said to me. The stream elements not work? It does, I just don't always catch it. Uh, Dan Chanting with 420, Sorlin Mmm... Salami Skeleton, they do always do not trust them, they have human... Do, do, do not trust them, they have in human eyes... What?! What?! What the fuck does that mean?! Sides... Uh, slide sideways, sadly. <laughs> Why am I tilted? Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> um... Now that I think about it, that's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Not least either. Lord, do cat girls get zoomies? I don't know. Cats do not understand that. Having heard that sad aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. It must be pretty nice to live the simple life of a cat girl, huh? I pondered as I looked at the name of the bakery affixed to the window. 
With a bitter smile, I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Literally me, thinking about she's playing Anime Cat Girl Wife Simulator and wondering why they aren't real. She's literally me. I think we think of a fucking bit bass. Cute. Cute. We're dumping off our cat girls. Ah, uh, the takoyaki seller isn't here today. Just like yesterday, we took a walk through the park in the evening. However, that food stand was nowhere to be found. It just so happened that no one was home on the day I decided to take the two cat girls home. I had also happened to leave the house key behind. So to make good use of time, I went to do some shopping before Shigure got home. Uh, uh, so sorry, Vanilla! What was it called? Catnip? That sounds about right. That isn't the right word at all. Chocla, if you're tired, why don't we rest a bit? Uh, okay. Maybe a little bit. Ah, uh, no! Chocla's fine! Sorry to worry you, Master. There's no need for you to apologize. Pepper Dancing, for Doris. Dude, you gotta watch Noble from Lost Paws play this game with Nyaners, Iron Mouse Melody, and Nax. Okay. Uh, she had a troubled smile on her face as she nodded. It was pretty clear why she wasn't in good spirits. That's why there was nothing I could really say to her. Well, there happens to be a bench over there, so why don't we rest a bit? In that case, I will go buy something to drink. Ah, oh, thanks. Something for everyone, okay? Oh, understood. Leave it to me. I handed Vanilla some change and offered the bench to Chocola. Constant sea breeze rustled the trees in the park. All that could be heard throughout the empty park were the quiet sounds of nature. I silently sat down next to the disheartened Chocola. Like the gently setting sun, time passed by slowly. Press P. Damn, nothing. Like the giant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chocola, we'll go home. Her voice was so quiet that it was. I wasn't quite sure if I had heard her or not. Even so, she answered clearly. Without saying a word, I responded by gently rubbing Chocola's head. Is it alright if Chocola calls you sometimes, Master? Yeah. Would it be alright to go visit you as well, Master? Yeah. Master! Will you be sure to think about us every day? Is it alright for Chocola to still call you Master, even if Chocola is far away from you? Her voice trembled as she frantically wiped away her tears. She stifled her sobbing and her voice became strained. She looked pained. Ginger, hi! Sorry. She looked pained as she did her best to hold back her emotions, biting her lips. I held back my irresponsible words that were on the brink of coming out with all my strength. <laughs> yeah, of course I will. Oh. I was frustrated at myself for saying nothing. I was empty. I could only offer condolences that could not be put into words. The fuck did you do, Pippa? I didn't do it! There was no choices! I rubbed Chocola's head and head as gently as I could. I promised to myself I wouldn't cry. Promise broken. <laughs> Dan Tran, thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> you really are kind, aren't you, Master? I... I don't really think I'm kind at all. You said the same thing before, didn't you, Master? Before? Chocola closed her eyes and smiled. Do you remember? When Chocola and Vanilla were taken home by Master and shigure -chan. Ah, of course I remember that. Don't blame me, Chan! 
It was a cold day half a year ago. Short poem, thank you for the five gifted bees. A big X, thank you for the five dollars. Yes, I get girls! Let's go! Chocolate and vanilla were huddled together, crying by the side of the road. They were still so young, they couldn't even speak yet. Please don't sniff the cat, girl, Pippa, and mommy, thank you for the five dollars. It was that day that I embraced their small, cold bodies, sexually, in the bedroom, and took them home with me. There was no way I could simply forget that important day when our family grew. In the beginning, you two really couldn't get used to things at home. <laughs> we were scared back then, because we were in an unfamiliar house with people and cat girls we didn't know. You two wouldn't eat at all. Oh, you two wouldn't eat at all, which really worried Shigure. Yeah. We really did make her worry. I started to hear a tiny bit of laughter in her voice as we reminisced about the past. Do you remember when Chogua and Vanilla had a fever, too? No, because I wasn't part of the game. Ah, I definitely do remember that. <laughs> Someone needs to lock me up! What do you mean?! Oh, cute! It was a few days after we brought Chocla and Vanilla home. At that point, they'd only occasionally drink some water. And as always, they didn't really touch their food. The combination of malnourishment and cold weather had really begun to weaken their bodies. They both developed high fevers and were in pain. No one had realized it that night. But we felt so much pain, anguish, and loneliness. We couldn't speak or move our arms or legs at all. All we could do was cry and cry as we kept hoping for someone, anyone to come and save us. And then... It's alright. I'm with you two, so don't worry. With your big, warm hands, you gently rubbed our heads, Master. You kept saying, don't worry, don't worry, as you stayed by our side. And continued to stroke and comfort Chocola and Renoa. When morning came, you took us to the hospital. You were always, always by our side. We felt so anxious and helpless. It felt like it was all just lies to us. Told. Back then you said the same thing. That you didn't think you were being kind. But if Master hadn't saved us, Chocolate and Vanilla wouldn't be here now. Back then, if Master wasn't by our side, we still wouldn't be able to trust anyone. Thanks to Master, we were able to eat again. We were able to become friends with Shigure-chan and everyone else. That's why, from that day forward, Master became Chocola's master. It was that day forward that Chocola began loving her kind master, you know? I wish that her tear-filled eyes would not spill over. Those tears were filled with anxiety, sadness, and happiness. She smiled all she could before me. That's why when Chukla hears that Master won't be around anymore, Chukla couldn't do anything else but want to go with Master. But Chukla begged shigure She said that with the faintest of smiles, one that seemed as if it would disappear at any moment. Those words were so gentle and warm. But there was also an undeniable sadness and emptiness mixed in with them. Chocola. I was the one she was saying this all to. Even so, the only thing I could say back to her was her name. Chocola guesses cat girls don't really understand when it comes to money and other complex things. Still... No matter what, Chocola wants to be by Master's side. When Master is having a tough time or is in trouble, somehow, Chocola just knows. Chocola just somehow does. Whether it's cleaning, doing the laundry, or cooking, Chocola will do anything to help. Even if Chocola can't do it properly right now, Chocola will absolutely make sure that she'll be able to do things right someday. Chocolate maxed out your credit card, by the way. 
Oh, that kind of thing. Dolores is like the Wookiees. They owe you a life debt. Not a pickable thing. Dolores, go show Jean Daisuke. Oh, fuck you. It's anything with one dollar. So are cat girls like second rate citizens? I mean, they're animals. They're, they're, they're livestock. That's why... That's why... Would it be okay... To ask for one more favor? Chocla wants to be with Master! Chocla voiced her feelings clearly once again. And barely kept her tears from overflowing. Chocla pissed in your shoes! <laughs> Chocla, if you could be with me... I was engulfed by my inner thoughts, which were ready to overflow. Mmm... She yearned for me so earnestly. For her to so innocently believe in me, there should be no reason for me to be against it. That day, Chocolo and Vanilla became an important part of my family. And as long as they were with me, the days would be bright and enjoyable. I was simply selfish for just leaving home like that. I didn't want to get my dear family wrapped up in my selfishness. Or have them experience any unnecessary hardship because of me. You two are important to me, after all. CAT! We are cat girls, so we're honest with ourselves. My inner conflict was disrupted by Vanilla. Vanilla had returned, at some point, and she looked straight at me as she sat at Chocolate's side. For me, as long as it's fun, I am fine with being... Oh, I'm fine being with Chocolate. You can't pronounce the word shoe? What? Not a Pokemon? What? Show? Show? Even if there are... <sighs> Even if there are hardships, I think I'm fine being with Chocola. After all, it's much more lonely and painful when we can't be together. Vanilla. If we really love you, then, even if it's troublesome, we want to be with you. That is a reason to want to be with you. Stuff like whether we'd be happy or not. Even though you're our master, don't you think it's wrong for you to decide that? Besides, when a person important to us is in trouble, that's more reason for us to want to be by their side. We don't know what we can do, but... In tough times, we can at least be by your side to cheer you up. That we can do. Sex after this? I don't know. It was as if her gentle, warm, and soft smile had become the setting sun. I said, show? Shut up. Rip that thing, Dolores. Hey, don't leave me. I love you. I think I'm better than Dolores. These are the delusions of a cat obsessed madman. True. The easy bike thing with Dolores. They will defiantly lead. Oh. They will defiantly feel some hardship from him later. Oh, definitely. Oh, God. These uncharacteristic words from Vanilla deeply penetrated and seeped into my soul. That is probably why Shigure let us follow you, Master. Since Shigure can't go with you, she asked us to go in her stead, Master. That is why, if Master really cares about us, then I believe we should be with you. There was not even the faintest bit of hesitation. They were such honest and absolutely straightforward words. Who am I to dictate Chocolo and Vanilla's happiness? Only those words continued to strongly resonate in my mind. Which was otherwise empty. <laughs> even if we lived a worry-free life, we would hate it if Master wasn't around. Hello, Peppa and Chat. Hello, Lieutenant Guma. No matter how difficult, Chocola wants to be together with Master! That's why Chocola begs you to allow us to be by your side, Master! This is where Chocola wants to be! She was on the verge of tears. But Chocola's face lit up. They were nothing but absolutely pure, genuine words. From somebody that cannot consent. Humans really are at a loss for words when it comes to cat girls, huh? Saying no to their words was not something I could bring myself to do. <laughs> Spider Fox saying you're gonna be VP! Happy birthday, Viva! Master, does that mean? 
Nine months, by the way. <laughs> it won't be like this. Oh, it won't be like it was back at home. You can't just live however... Here! You can't just live here however you like. Got it? <laughs> yes! That won't be a problem! Chukla is happy as long as Master is here with her! Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. What? It's not my birthday! What? Background noise? They were the two dollars? Only way to solve this fairly is to flip a coin? 18 in cat years, but still no rights. Well, well. Master has finally surrendered. Sometimes people say they hate what they actually love. Right? The dreary moment seemed to be blown away by her dazzling smile. Despite all this talk about family, perhaps I was the one that didn't really believe in it. Thinking about all this from their perspective, it was very simple. Although I thought it was all still so immature, perhaps cat girls were more human than humans were when it came to honesty. From here on out, we need to do our best all together. Of course! Chocolate is alright, even if we don't have fatty tuna for dinner every night. Just occasionally is good enough. For meat, A4 grade is fine as long as it's Matsuzaka beef. Fatty meat is the best. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday! Same glad thing, Dolores. Oh, damn, happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Literally, me thing, Dolores. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Reptile thing, Dolores. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday! Robbie Robertson, they were coming, baby. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday! Is that all you guys have been eating at home? Even if the road ahead of us is uncertain. I lovingly rubbed their heads, disheveling their hair. The fox thing, Red Dolores. Happy birthday. Shut up. Alright. Why don't we head back to the shopping district, then? Eh? Why is that? Aren't you done with shopping already? We have to go buy that shampoo you guys liked, don't we? Easy bike saying with two dollars, they want the fatty meat and have a birthday. Shut up. Icky then go big happy birthday, it's not my birthday. <laughs> it's not. Kasho! <laughs> uh we have to go buy that oh I heard that. You guys are fucking with my head. Stop it. Vanilla! Ah, oh, Master is so cool. The man in front of the Happy birthday, Pippa. Miss Ben is in two twenty. Happy birthday, Pippa. What? Like we're noisy in two dollars. Happy random day, Pippa. Thanks. Parkour, I think you're becoming a big, big weird game to play on your birthday, but also part of happy birthday, Pippers. Giga, oh Giga, then you're becoming Pippa. Happy birthday, Pippa. Enjoy the cat eggs on your birthday. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Master is so cool. All right, let's buy some Matsuzaka beef. Well, today is a celebration, so why not? A blue jelly thing, as they say, hi, it's not my birthday, happy birthday. What? <laughs> Yay! A celebratory party! <laughs> master, so generous, as expected of our master. <laughs> that guy didn't come to I thought it was next month, but happy birthday. My birthday is next month! And anything, Dolores, now blow out the candles. Keep texting you, Dolores, if they own property, can cat girls vote? I don't think cat girls can own property. Old Iron Bomb thing, Dolores, Dan has from her. What? Intensive thing, 1,000 crocodiles. De bag, they're right, Pippa. Just as once, okay? This was the beginning to a bright new life. And together with the happy and high spirited Chocola and Vanilla, we took the first steps towards it. Sinak thing with Dolores. Joel, anniversary, and Zahara thing with the $5. I bet Meow played this before starting his VTuber company. No matter, no wonder it went south. Peter's thing with $5. Happy Donald birthday. Kill cats. Kill cats. <laughs> Kill cats! Is our sister gonna genetically modify herself to turn herself into a cat girl? Kill. Sigma Syndicate! Thank you for the it's on my birthday. 15th of on her birthday, 2023. Yeah, I'm just gonna instinctively, reflexively say it. Cool. Cool cat. Cool cat! Alexander, thank you for the Is there slavery? Oh, oh my god. <gasps> or is that the sister? I bet that's the sister. The black hair one? Because I don't think she has cat hair. Yours. I'm endlessly lost in this. Same. But it's cute, so don't worry about it. Can we have sex with our sister in this? 
Also, are we getting a bunch of CG spoilers? Voice. I saw nothing. If you saw nothing, I saw nothing. Spider God, thank you for two hours. Great game choice. Happy birthday, Fifa. Oh my God, we're we're almost two hours in, and that was just the opening. I just got the achievement for opening. Yay, master, master! Look, look over here. Cute. Ansa, Ansa, Shimaba. Why am I landing with my My sister, say you're a self insert character. No, you can't screw her. You say, oh! Oh, okay. Friendly thing of $2. Bye bye! Bye! Have a wonderful time! That's all. Oh, just give someone out. Ah, these clothes are really nice! They're super cute! Chocolate is mood! Chocolate is really mood, master! Chocola, you're super cute. Flip your skirt just up just a bit. Like this? Like this? Uh, master is looking at you with perverted eyes, Chocola. I think the writer started your sister question. around how old are they 12 months nine months nine they're, they're nine months old the two cat girls showed off their uniforms they had just received comedically swamped with work i turned away from the two cat girls master do you think chocolate looks good in master shop uniform uh yeah it looks really good Although it was last minute, I'm glad we found something decent. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. I was the one who chose these, though. Ah, uh, it looks good on you too, Vanilla. I'm counting on you two, you know? Well, we'll do our best to the extent of our ability. Yay! Master praised us! From tomorrow on, let's do our best to shop cat girls, Vanilla! Is it just me or is it louder? Is it fine? Is the audio fine? Yeah, Tambo! Thank you for the two dollars! Sound post? Come on! Give me the sound post! Oh god! Since Master did prepare these uniforms for us, I guess I might as well. I will try. Audio's fine? Okay. You aren't being honest. <sighs> you should also give Master some eye candy by flipping your skirt a bit, Vanilla. Come on, come on! Yeah, I'm not that kind of cat girl. Uh, stop, Chocola! Wait, I said don't. Yeah? That, that, that isn't my skirt. Yeah. My cat girls sure are energetic. And attractive. I looked at the frolicking cat girls out of the corner of my eye as I wiped the trays and tableware. We open tomorrow, huh? The necessary ingredients were already in the refrigerator, and the decorative plants for the shop had arrived. I figured there'd be more excitement to all this, but naturally, that wasn't the case. Time did fly by when we were trying to get everything prepared, though. I reached for their business cards that had just arrived that morning. Oh, 
must be those things called business cards? Amazing! That was amazing, Master! It even has the shop's address and phone number on it! It's a single card that tells you everything about this shop. You have no sense of discretion in an era where everyone is protective of their privacy. No, that's exactly what business cards are used for. She knew about protecting personal information, but not about business cards? Well, it was true that it would be a pain if it was in some sort of strange business or something. Congratulations! Congratulations, Master! With this pretty business card, soon they'll be all gone and replaced with a shop packed with guests instead! The tasteful thickness of it. This is what Josh Moon warned me about! <laughs> Josh Moon can't save you now! Uh, ah, it would be nice if everything went like that. I rubbed the high-spirited chocolate on the head as if that dream had already been granted. If she was already this genuinely happy about things, I began to feel like it might go well. It was really reassuring to have someone else here along with me. I found myself thinking about that, that all... <laughs> I found myself thinking about all, that all again. What's wrong, Vanilla? I want one. Is it okay to take it? Ah, I don't mind. It was rare for Vanilla to want something like that. But I imagine even cat girls like to have mementos. I had several hundred cards, so it really wasn't a big deal. Okay, I had a lot of me, so go ahead and take however many you'd like. Uh, wait, you can't take all of them! That's not what I meant by take however many you want! I watched Chuckler take the box and go. Maybe Japanese was hard for them to understand. Now let's see Paul Allen's cat girls. <laughs> that was pretty good, Horiyami. Uh, standing ones, well, you shouldn't worry about the adult content unless you paid for it and installed it. Do you have something to say? Mm, no, no, no! <laughs> Double VS gunning for Doisings before th this is an interesting stream. Watching those two get so engrossed in a regular cat toy. Well, it did say go ahead. So for now, I'll just let them play with it. Ah! Hold on. Ah! Ow! Ow! I just stabbed myself in the eye! Ow! Ow! Help me! Hold on! I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's probably fine. Eh. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's the mold. Your eye will remember that. Hmm, where can I find books on cat girls? As I looked around the store, an apron-clad shop clerk came up to me. Bella was eating with my doors. If it helps, the screaming cute is balancing out the cringe moe voice. Is that your face connect? Yeah. Um. 
Is there anything I can help you with? Do you have any books on raising cats? The humanoid kind? Yes, certainly. They would be over here. Oh, wow. There sure are a lot of books on cat girls. I was so taken aback by the tightly packed amount of books on the cat girls that my thoughts happened to slip out. A cat girl's feelings, cat girl education, cat girls at full speed. Or not! I didn't understand the last one, but in any case, there were a lot of books. While there are a lot of these... Oh. While there are a lot of these kinds of books, when it comes to cat girls, each individual one is different. Humanoid cats can communicate with words, so if you just talk with them, you should be able to work things out. Are those... Are you those cat girls, master? Oh, no, my little sister is their own... Oh, wait, no, I am their owner. I thought I should do a bit of studying up on them. I see. I'll bring you some recommended books in. Please wait for a moment. It did feel awkward to declare that I was their owner. But to be able to say I was their owner was also something that made me a bit happy. I would say it was part of my caring personality. A wry smile formed on my face as I watched the two of them frantically slap the cat toy from a distance. Wait, they're still doing that? Thank you for waiting. How about this book? The shop clerk came back and handed me a book. Cat Girls. Year one to adulthood. If that's what you have on your plate, then maybe it would be better to learn about the special characteristics of cat girls instead of how to raise them. At, oh, at this point, I don't think you need to teach them how to speak, use the restroom, or take a bath after all. But it also covers topics related to adult cat girls, including mating seasons and physical development. Right, that would be important. I rapidly flipped through the pages. Eating habits to promote growth, mating season, stable period during pregnancy, cat girl training, ways to deal with cat girls, cat girl personalities, schooling. It covered topics all the way to athletic competitions involving cat girls. Whether a partner for life, partner for work, or a partner for hobbies, the relationship between owner and cat girl in various ways is like one of a family. It may not be great compared to books covering specific topics, but I think it's a decent one to start with. But even so, those cat girls over there have been raised very well. I think you'll be fine as long as they're ab able to talk like humans. You're right, they seem better raised than I was. I suddenly remembered not too long ago when Chocolate and Vanilla managed to talk me out of sending them home. Kittens inbound, yeah. I don't see how they put like Pippa's inability to express her cringe instinct is superhuman. Oh, ability. As an owner, I'd better study up. With that thought in mind, I handed the book back to the shop clerk. In that case, I'd like to buy this. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, also, there is one more thing. Hmm? What is it? Just, what is going on over there? Your cat girls seem to be really into something, but... Over there? Ah, cute! I never do it for those it's been a while. I think a new band appeal stream would be pretty fun. Also, Twitch hate! I feel like most people do band appeals, like, once a year, right? It might be too soon. But the chat thing can be baby huge cat please. <laughs> They're tuckered out. You gotta pick them up. You gotta cradle them. You gotta cradle them in your arms like the little, 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 little cat girls. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hoist them up and you gotta, you gotta hold one in each arm and you gotta. <laughs> I can see the light. Yeah. Yeah. Friendly yeah. thing into large nerve gas. The only oh, the only way you'll pass through is over my dead body. <laughs> oh until master the until the end Chuckalobus Oh god my mother's watching! Love your laugh. Oh, hi, Mama Kin. Yeah, you narc. What do you mean you narc? <laughs> <laughs> Mother. 
Turn off the stream. These... There are things in this game... Parents aren't meant to see. <laughs> There's things in here. I don't want you knowing about me. <laughs> she said no! <laughs> and then sent... What is this emoji? It's like... It's like a wobbly face and its tongue is sticking out? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> well, this just got 10 million times more awkward. Uh, the best badness. Thank you, Chilores. Has she disowned us yet? <laughs> Blue Jelly, thank you, Can't believe you forgot to lock the door. Shaking my head. The man named Radar's mom would kid be like, Damn, I wish I had a cat girl instead of a bunny girl. Ah, uh, Zul's Bear, thank you, Chilores. Hi, Mama Kin. Thanks for adopting us. DZ Pikes, thank you for the $2. Hi, Mama Kin. Rob H, thank you for the three twenty seven or three seventy two. I mean, does Purple Cat make an appearance in this game? I don't know which one Purple Cat is. They never doodle thing of 149. We're thankful for her adoption of us. Oh god. Oh god. This is Lars thing to let's keep going. I want to hear more cute voices. Calvin, thank you for five dollars. Thanks for adopting us, Mama Kin. Oh god. She said, I love you the way you are. Thank you, Mama Kin. Thank you. I love you, too. <sighs> I need a drink. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. The, the wrist stream singer with $10. It's time for copious amounts of moonshine to forget Mama Kin is here. <laughs> Close the thing. 136. Hi, Mama Kin. So, how's your stream, by the way? Oh, and they said, and they are all welcome. Okay. Rockmaster T, thank you for the 344. When mom catches you watching two cats, one rabbit. What? <laughs> Cody Potter, thank you for the two dollars. That one's getting clipped. <laughs> and Elon Bardo, thank you for the Don't worry, someone will clip this anyways. Oh, God. Man, what's in the PP? So we turn in the R18 patch up. There is no R18! There is no R18! I did not install the R18! No more talk about R18! Say so! This is say so! Emperor Crimson, thank you to Lars. She's calling. <laughs> Spider God, thank you for the Lars. Love you, Mama Kin. Pinch Pipkin's chicks for us. We love your sister Kin. Tristan, thank you for $5. Is watching this as a cat owner the equivalent of watching a Syscod novel when you have a sister? It might be. Well, let's see, thank you for the Lars. So the question is is Mama Kin interested in the game? Yeah, Mama Kin, how do you feel about this game? It's called Nekopara. How do you how do you feel? You're pointing to Lord's Hi Mom. Our sister is being weird again. <laughs> oh god. Not installed but purchased. No, I don't! I did not purchase it! I did not purchase it! Oh god, no response back yet. Tell Mama Kin again it's fine too. <laughs> I didn't buy it! Stop! Stop! Stop, stop with the X's! She said, seems lame. Yeah, Mama Kin, it's very lame. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't watch the stream. It's very lame. Can't take her jail thing for the $2. What the hell did I walk in on? <laughs> that grand noise thing with $2. We passed Say So territory a long, long time ago. And Mama Kin doesn't appreciate the cute. Anyways. How am I supposed to do the boy voice now, chat? Oh, suddenly ten dollars, Mama Kin. Do we get an allowance? You say as you spend money. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. One more drink. I'm 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 there's like nothing left. I'm so fucked. <laughs> If I go get another drink, it's gonna be wine. <laughs> Speaking of wine, I bought, I bought, I bought... Because I couldn't get my hands on any of the Hall of Life drinks. I got, um... Takada Plum Wine. And it's actually really good. I didn't think I'd like it, but I got, I got a bottle of Plum Wine. It's very delicious. Oh god. 
Just embrace the cringe. I just gotta suck it up. I just gotta suck it up. Home wine flaps. Yeah. It does. It's good. I recommend it. I recommend Takara Plum Wine. Loose chains and come big baby. Block out the voice in your head telling you to stop. Oh, she said sounds good. Yeah, plum wine is good. You should try it, Mama Kin. It's, it, it's cheap. It's like $16 a bottle. Ugly bastard thing. Dolores, Mama Kin, it's me, your son in law. Oh my god. This large thing with $2. Choya Plum Wine. Wow. Wow. Is Choya better than Takara? Okay. Okay, let's go. Hmm. <clears throat> His splendid cat girl. <sighs> Bob's nothing, Dolores. What proof is the plum wine? I I don't know. Well, I guess that I'll get that toy too. Also, do you have any drinks? Thank you very much. Sometimes I really wondered if their heads were screwed on right. Watching the two cat girls roll around as if on the verge of death suddenly made me feel anxious. Seven percent, probably. I don't know. No more pressing the P button now. S sorry, Master. We got a little carried away. Authentic and Foxing foxing the Dolores cat game, so basic foxes are better. By the way, moy over normal. This manager thing for Dolores Mamakin is our senpai, the original Kapiti. <laughs> no matter how much common knowledge we take in, we can't go against what is normal behavior for us cat girls. Well, I'll hang this up in the room, so play with it all you want. Their eyes flickered towards the toy that was just... Uh, that was jutting out of the plastic bag. I guess on a genetic level, they really were cats. The shop clerk did tell me that's just how things are, after all. Do they piss on the walls like regular cats? Hey, Vanilla. Could you stop by the drugstore? Oh, hey, Master. Could you stop by the drugstore? Hmm? I wasn't planning on it. But was there something you wanted? Well, if you put it that way, then yes. It's something like that. Is that alright? I guess if you want to go, then we can go. Using such unclear words was uncharacteristic of Vanilla. Just the other day, I had bought her a full set of hair care products. I guess there was some medicine I wanted to stock up on, so I didn't mind. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, let's go. Objective achieved. Objective? Cat girl... Cat girls have lots of them too, you know. Well, that's fine, I guess. Maybe cat girls' lives aren't that easy. I thought about that as we headed towards the drugstore. She wants catnip? Yeah, let's go with that. Hey, hey, master! What's me? <laughs> How am I supposed to read this in front of my mother? Oh, my mom says she's gonna look for the plum wine. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you I'll send you a link. Now look away! Look away! <laughs> Block your ears! <laughs> hey, hey, master! What's menstrual pain? <sighs> uh, could menstrual pain be? It's the pain in your muscles when you're cleaning, right? Chakra is very perceptive! <laughs> it's... something like that. Look, can you keep it down, okay? <laughs> Stares from others in the store were piercing me once again. She said, okay, I'll leave. I don't believe you! I don't believe you! <laughs> I think you're lying to me! <laughs> Oh, God. There's no way I could get angry at their innocence, either. Please try to understand my situation. In any case, why don't we go that way? There should be medicine over there. Coordinates confirmed! Chakla will follow you, Master! Spawn for King Dolores. Welcome, Mama Kin. Your daughter is awesome. Background noise, Ingrid. Two dollars. No more cherry moonshine. What gives? I mean, I have it. I just wanted to try something different. By the way, what kind of medicine are you buying, Master? 
You take medicine when you hurt or in pain, right? Do you hurt somewhere, Master? In that case, wouldn't it be better if you go to the hospital? It's just some household medicine. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> why? Mama can text me. Why? What? No. What? Don't worry about it. Best bet is saying for the lights, Mama can. If you are leaving, bye. Hope you had a good day. Don't be nice to my mother like she's your mother. She's not your mother. You're not actually adopted. Fuck you. It's my mother. I calmed down the concerned Chakra, who was right up in my face. And household medicine is the kind of medicine you buy, just in case something happens at home. But, but when Chocolate had a fever and was in pain, Master took Chocolate to the hospital, right? That time wasn't normal. Chocolate is a cat girl, too. If you only have a slight cold, the medicine from the local store should be more than enough. Ah, Chocolate understands! There's a lot of different things to learn about humans! She said thank you, I'm proud of her. Th thank you, Mama Kid. Thank you for saying you're proud of me. Just said we're new to thing, Dolores. Have a great night, Mom! Oh my god. She picked up various medicine boxes and looked at them with admiration. On that note, was it okay for cat girls to take regular human medicine? A long while ago, I saw that Shigure had some medicine that said ship or something on it, but. Ah! There's a clinic next door! If they don't have the right medicine here, then you can go next door, right? As expected of human civilization, everything is made to be so convenient. Yeah, that's about right. I answered her vaguely. Well, Chakula hasn't been to the hospital for humans before, after all. It was all right as long as she understands more or less what they are. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Huh? Now that you mention it, Chocola doesn't see her. Be nice to your siblings. Mom again! Mom again, don't encourage them! Before I realized it, Vanilla had vanished. Wasn't she the one that said she wanted to go to the drugstore, too? Hmm, 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 hmm. Ah! can smell Vanilla scent over there, Master! By over there, do you mean outside of the store? Hey, Laddie, thing into the Can you tell mom I need a lift to school tomorrow? No. No, I cannot. I refuse. I turned to where Chocolate was pointing and saw that she was pointing outside. Mm hmm? My dear Chocolate, did you call me? All of a sudden, Vanilla came back inside the store. Huh? Vanilla? Where did you go? I just went to go pick some flowers. No, I mean you clearly came from outside of the store just now. I pointed towards the sign for the restrooms inside the store. There was no reason for Vanilla to lie, though. Wait, she is a cat, so does it mean that she... Could it be that you didn't know what a restroom was and went outside to... Pervert, <gasps> <gasps> that's really rude of you, Master. <laughs> Super pervert, what an awful person. Yeah, that's true, huh? There's no way that would be the case, right? Sorry! Vanilla's face was red with rage as I earnestly apologized. So that's how Vanilla looks when she gets angry, huh? It's difficult to make sense of a cat girl's pride. In any case, we should hurry back and prepare for the bakery's opening. It's tomorrow, after all. Chocolate and Vanilla will help out too, Master! It's going to be a tall order, so I'm counting on you two. Hi. Oh yeah. Super pervert is a good username. No, it's not. Jesus. I'm not taking a delay. She's our mother, comrade. Yes, Shut the fuck up. I got nothing to delay. The bounce house is officially closed. <laughs> it is. The big annoying the obvious hint that. Have you decided on what you'd like to order? I love baguettes. Then I'm big peepee. -pee. I like your crony avatar. Pippa, can you please test the bounce features again? I missed it earlier in the stream. No, I don't know what you're talking about. What bounce features? There's not enough hardness. Be more flirty and sexy. Mm hmm, sexy, huh? 
Okay, let's try once more from the top. Mama Ken, are you still there? <laughs> Mama Ken? Just give it a moment. Just give it a moment, chat. One moment. This is saying to the cope. I don't see a message. All right. Honestly, blame me. Ignore what I just said. Just for the record, this isn't some kind of bakery. Oh, this isn't that kind of bakery, okay? She said no. Fuck off. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you can't say no! You can't say no! That means you hurt me! Stream of my life. This is the worst fucking stream of my life. Super Condor thing enjoys. Ma, Pippa's watching hentai. She doesn't know what that word means. Red from overthink but doors. Maybe Pop can hurt you and relight the message. Dies of cringe. I'm gonna die of cringe. I'm gonna die of cringe. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I think for the two dollars. Let mom know I need some school forms signed. Oh my god. Park is angry to the worst stream of your life so far. John Garrison angry to This is the future you chose. recommendation is cakes! What good is it if a customer walks into a bakery and you recommend cakes to them? Wouldn't it be a problem to recommend stuff aside from cakes? Well, that is true, but... I was making preparations for tomorrow. The poster girls were off to the side, practicing greetings. This better thing to She's gonna Google that now. She doesn't know how to spell it! Spider God thing with the two dollars. Hentai is a well-dressed female chicken. Yeah. It's a hen with a tie. How could I think of it? Thank you for the $10. Mom, Pippa said she's gonna put you in the crooked home she saw on 60 Minutes. What? I thought I heard them say they were going to help earlier, but oh well. Well, what I was going to do could be done by one person, for now at least. She said, send forms my way. Oh my god. Oh, something for Doris. Oh, Pippa, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Pippa's mom. You're a freak. Hmm, so that's it. I had a taste of the custard I'd just made. There were no crumbs and the taste was uniform. The sweetness was superb, too. I got no name to the stream has become a family affair. Ha! I hate you. Now then, next I need to work on the pie dough. Come on, come on, come on! Did you two want to have a taste? Yes! Just as expected, Master! I handed the custard-covered spatula over to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good! It tastes so good, Master! Pero, pero... This is not overly sweet sweetness. Pero, pero... It makes me want to like it more. Master, could we have a second taste test? I would also like a second serving. Okay, okay, understood. This is the last one, okay? This time, I gave each of them a small spoon. Cat! Cat! Pero 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 pero. Pero 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 pero. 
fast, just like a cat. The two of them were wholeheartedly licking their spoons. Well, I suppose their straightforwardness was sort of cute. Well, even though I did ask for assistance, you two are just cat girls after all. It's not like Chocolate came here just so she could taste test it! Uh, don't jump to conclusions like... Oh, don't jump up like that all of a sudden! It's dangerous! I'm just a cat girl, so I'm fine with taste testing. Another serving, Master. <laughs> hey, Vanilla! Don't just go and take more yourself! That's a lot more than a mere taste! It's okay! If you run out of chocolate, we'll make a lot more! So don't worry! Easy bikes and run doors. Which one did you say was the small spoon? What? Oh, chocolate is getting fired up. I'm compelled to be excited with expectation about this. Stop right there, master. Ugh! Vanilla, let go of me! Alright, I'll make it! <laughs> chocolate watched master make it, so we'll be alright! Leave it to chocolate! Um, first you pour milk in the bowl, then, uh... Then you put in sunflower seeds, was it? It's vanilla bean. The customers aren't hamsters, you know. Chocola, since you have the opportunity, you should make a lot. Then we'll be in custard heaven. Roger that! Leave it to Chocola! Putting fresh cream in there should make it even more yummy. Leave it to me. What's that thing? Realize how are there 6k votes but only 1... 0.8k viewers? Don't ask questions. Ah! Uh, wait, this is heavy! Chakala, uh, could it be that this is what one might call extremely danger? Chicken vanilla my bean any day? That doesn't make any sense. Are you winning, Pippa? No, Becker Nori is with the two dollars. Pippa, you lied. <sighs> Remember we're winning for dollars, Mama. Can I swear we're not weirdos like Pippa? She's a bad influence on us. <laughs> no! I'm not a pervert! I cannot see if you're blocking it. Good. You don't need to see. <laughs> you don't need to see. Oh my god. Water in my eyes. That's why I told you not to open your eyes. I'm going to wash you off again. Yeah, I can't get used to baths. Yeah, cause I think the one thousand, the fifteen mirrors is over. Pippers, Alex, say hello, thank you, I'm looking respectfully, Pippa. Literally meeting for those. I'm not a pervert. Said the pervert. I'm not. I'm not thinking for Pippa. Could you lean to the left? My left. <laughs> oh, anything in the sixty-five sex? Are you winning, Mamakin? You reap what you sow, right? Come on, close your eyes. I washed all the milk and fresh cream off chocolate and vanilla in the shower. William Markham thinks the two love watching Super Pro. No! But better than Brad Lloyd. One time you're not tilted. Go to buy thing two that doesn't look like soap. <sighs> it's a small blessing that the damage was just limited to you two, huh? Although cleaning the bakery did take up a lot of effort. Oh, it's yummy. 
But she's happy since it's been a long time since we've had a bath with Master! Ah, now that you mention it, that's true. <laughs> Considering that Master's breathing techniques haven't approved even a bit. Yeah. Come on, you get that for opening your mouth. Just keep quiet for a bit. Yeah, you're being unreasonable, Master. When they were young cat girls, I did occasionally bathe with them. But once they started to mature, I refrained from getting in the bath with them. I don't like it when they get too old. It wasn't because I felt guilty or anything, though. Ever since they were small, I've always thought of them like little sisters. Maybe even daughters, in a way. Besides, they've become more feminine to some degree, too. <laughs> Wait a minute, they're cat girls! What am I doing thinking of stuff like that? What's wrong, Master? You're shivering like a wet kitten! Huh? Uh, it's nothing at all. Uh, right. I was just thinking that your hair has gotten longer. Shigure-chan oh. Shigure said her hair is, has a nice gloss to it. So we should let it grow out. We've done it so since then. The fact that Master noticed that it's gotten longer is because you haven't bathed with us in a long time, right? Oh, God, I'm honoring really good pee, -pee. Master thinks it's a pain, so it can't be helped. He's someone who doesn't listen to the request of his cat girls. Though you two are cat girls, you're also maturing girls as well. <gasps> Have some shame, at least a bit. Shame! Shigure Tan said that word from time to time. But when someone says that, nothing really comes to mind. Yeah. For cat girls who haven't entered mating season yet, human emotions like those are difficult to understand. Sheesh, you two act like cats only when it's convenient, huh? Come on, I'll wash your heads now. Emperor Crimson thing realized out of all streams for her to watch. <laughs> With shampoo in my hands, I went to work. It into a lather in their hair. Their hair was beautiful and free of split ends thanks to Shigure's constant care. Even to the untrained eye, I could see the merit in having them grow out their hair. Master, how can you say that when you're clearly happy about it, pervert? Jack with income, Big Pippi. Meow, meow, meow! Master, why are you looking at Chocolate that way? <laughs> you can't fool a cat girl's eyes. Your eyes have been closed the whole time, though, Vanilla. Besides, I think I've lost for cat girls like you two. When you're just troublesome daughters to me. Yeah. So Master is our papa, then. That's not bad, either. It isn't a... Oh, it isn't a bad idea, so I'm willing to allow it. Yes, yes, it's my honor. I thought you're covering the gameplay. Shut up! Jesus! Pleasant thoughts floated through my head as I stroked their hair. Oh god, I turned in Chinese! What the fuck? Chat, it's in Chinese! How do I fix it? Fuck! What did I do? <laughs> e? It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything! Why is it in Chinese? Pleasant thoughts floated through my head as I stroked their hair. The idea of taking care of cute daughters didn't sound so bad to me. After all, even Shigure used to constantly follow me around long ago. <laughs> I suppose it's okay for me to say I'm rather good at taking care of others. Try hitting E again! I... Oh, there we go. But it's still there! But now the names are there at least. Come on, while I'm washing your hair, you'd better make sure to wash the rest of you, too. Don't forget your tails, either. Oh, Joke in! Because the Hobby Dollarinos! It's in Chinese because of your rampant censorship, Pippa! Shut up! Evan Compton thing with $20. Pippa over Bimbo Necos! I don't think these qualify as bimbos. Up something with the $2 social credit score. <sighs> Since we have the chance, please do it for us, Master! I already have my hands full with washing your hair. Puffy Neko, thank you for two dollars. Yeah, Pippa, shame. Mr. Girl, thank you for dollars. Yo, Pippa, get out of the way. I can't see the game. Welcome to Dodging, the Lars. Pippa, can you move? I'm trying to watch the game. Oh, shut up. Ah! Instead of our stingy master, why don't I wash your tail as usual? Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm gonna pour water over you again. Close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath. 
You deliberately poured it on my face! It's in my ears! Please get chocolate! It's how I do, Master! Okay, okay, you're up next. It was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As I carefully washed the hair, that thought crossed my mind. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. That took a while, that took a while! Okay, looks like the sponge cake dough has a good consistency. I covered the bowl of dough with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. It's not like we'll have a packed house on opening day. So this much dough should be enough. Not applicable thing to realize how can they sell this in a place that eats cats? What? All that was left was to be prepared for when the bakery actually opens. Okay, the only thing that still needs to be done is to cut up the fruit or the toppings, and then I'm done. I stretched and looked at the clock. The four hands had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Wait, how many different subtitles are there? I left! Have fun! Love you! Oh, thank you, Mama Kent. Oh, wait, I gotta text you back because oh, she left. Love you, too. There we go. Unless she's lying to me. Unseen pathing! I'm big, big, big! Thank you for blocking the hurrah, Pippa. You're welcome. My mom left after the cat shower scene, I see. Okay, okay. I stretched and looked back at the clock. The hour hand had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Chocolate, vanilla, I'm almost done, so you two can go and sleep first. She left when the scene ended. Hmm? <sighs> Press E again! I did! And it's not, it's not changing. I, I can't get rid of it. I looked over my shoulder to see the two of them sleeping fitfully on the sofa. Oh, now that she's gone. Oh. They leaned against each other cozily, smiling as if in the m middle of a wonderful dream. See? Oh! Oh no! That made it worse! That made it worse! Huh? Just accept the subtitles, chat. <laughs> just, just... The one singular Chinese speaker in the audience is very happy right now. Just be happy for them. And they said they'd be awake until I finished. They'd be full of activity since the morning. So they were probably exhausted. I crouched down and poked both of their cheeks. Mmm, yes. Welcome. Chocolate, lush eyes, poster cackle. Chocolate. Yeah, Master. We're out of tea. Hurry up and bake the next cakes. Chocolate and vanilla were one step ahead, acting as waitresses in their dreams. Push the I did! It makes it worse! Chocolate and vanilla were the ones were one step ahead. Oh, I heard them. It sounded like they were in a rush, as if La Soleil was packed. Let me go, then, with my doors. Try pressing Shift N to disable. Oh! Magic. Thank you! Thank you! It sounded like they were in a rush, as if La Soleil was packed. They really are still children, aren't they? They were cute, like children excited before the start of a trip. I gently rubbed them both on the head. And the sweet smell of their leave-in hair treatment tickled my nose. Come on, you two. You can't sleep here, okay? You're going to bed. Unseen bad thing with the five get me bees! Pop smell thing with delight what Meow <laughs> You shouldn't touch chocolate while we're working, master. Ruby and Azure think my dollars. Cup our snake thing with the dollars is adorable. What the fuck why the fuck would you make porn from it? That's sexual harassment, Master. You can't do that to customers. Even I'm holding back. <laughs> what are you two talking about? I, it didn't look like they had any intention of waking up. 
Without any other notice, I picked them up one at a time and carried them to the bedroom. What does Vanilla want to do to the customers? You two really are a handful. I covered the two closely curled up cat girls with a blanket. Once more, I gently rubbed their heads before I quietly closed the bedroom door. Okay, just one last bit. Alone in the living room, I stretched and took a deep breath. I need to work even harder tomorrow, for chocolate and vanilla's sakes, too. As I murmured the names of my precious family members, I stretched my hands out and continued my preparations. Don't touch me there! That is my no-no square! Nekopara! Um... I'm sure I missed Super Chats, but I'm kinda scared. Oh, next, Jack Whiting, for those minutes ago, I was... What? What? I got another achievement, I missed it. Master! Someone is approaching the bakery! Everyone is battle stances! Are you ready? Wait, can you say that again? That was cute. I don't think I can make her say it again, can I? Cats! Cute. <laughs> it would be quicker to go forth and capture them. I'll do it well, so leave it to me. So cute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It's only been five minutes since we opened! The two of them hid by the window as if stalking prey. Even though we're finally open, there were, unsurprisingly, no customers waiting to come in. So this is weird. This is weird. Is this what it's like in, like, bigger cities? Because I remember... Chat, if you've lived in a small town... You would, you would know this. That anytime something new opens, it's going to be packed for the next year. Anytime something new opens in a small town, that shit is going to be packed. For the rest of the goddamn year. It doesn't matter if their food is garbage. It's just something different. Oh, God. I can't, I can't imagine something just opening up and people are like, eh, nah. Unless it sucks, even if it does suck, people, people don't care, man. People don't care, they just want something different. That's badness, Angelois. I love that stupid grin you make when they're cute. The new Cheesecake Factory! Like, bro, I don't... Dude! Dude! It'll be something like... It'll be something like a fucking... Taco Bell opens, right? It'll be something like a Taco Bell opens. And it'll be like the worst prepared... Like, it'll be like the worst fucking Taco Bell you've ever had. And everyone's just like, well, this is my new home base. The, 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 so, something funny. Olive Garden, yeah. Small life, small town life sounds like hell. It's nice. It's nice. It's just. Not a lot of. stuff happens. I placed my elbows on the counter while I gazed at the backs of the two cat girls, which is how I like it, by the way. It's fine if you wait for the customers to come in before interacting with them. If you brace yourself like that from the start, then you'll get tired quickly. <laughs> Malcolm Landy, <laughs> where the two noise the cafe is... <laughs> Vanilla, look! That girl walking over there! She looks like someone who really likes sweets! Oh, sweets. But chocolate. That's not really a nice thing to say. You should be careful of saying that in front of customers. Not that she can hear you. The two cat girls don't, didn't do so much as turn an ear in my direction. Well, to see them that hopeful for customers did pain me a bit as their owner. Well, since we just started, we should be patient.
Hey, oh, she called her fat. She did. What's up with all the fat jokes in this game? God. Excuse me. What? What is going on? Would you like to murder? Our specialist. The way she said cake was cute. We also have some black tea. Um, the warm kind and the cold kind. Um, the hot kind and uh, the cold kind. Will you two calm down? I pulled them back after they quickly set themselves upon the customer who just walked in. I'm terribly sorry for that. I'm the owner of this bakery, Minadoki. The menu is over there. Please peruse it at your leisure. Hmm? Miss? Fumu, <laughs> fumu. <laughs> Taking into account the location and use of color, this is quite a splendid storefront. The introspective feel makes for a simple thesis of design. All the knickknacks and such create a relaxing atmosphere. How wonderful. There was an uncharacteristically large pair of glasses that didn't suit her face or build. Yeah, she is flipping us off, this bitch! Then there were... There was her anachronistic Taisho era mantle and military cap. Oh shit, Twitter don't look! Twitter don't look! Finally, there was her grandiose way of speaking, which didn't match the familiar voice. <laughs> I've taken a liking to this place. I saw by every cake you have available. Now then, let's say you may pack up all the cakes here. Uh, you do take credit cards, yes? Uh, Shigure, what are you doing? Ha ha ha! Who is this Shigure? Sir, you must have mistaken me for someone else. Say what you like. Oh, say what you like, but that is your name. There's no way a young lass with such a pretty and earnest little sister to her older brother who would grace such a place like this with her presence. Very well, I won't pay heed to such rudeness. There's no reason to put a damper on your grand opening after all. In that case, could you cut the crazy routine? Who is this dork? Who is this bratty dork that needs correction? Besides that, how did you even know where my bakery is? I didn't tell anyone. Say that thing into noise as your sister quickly pin her down! In, in any case, you just go along and prepare all the cakes that you have. I will pay your asking price. Quickly! What, now you're a robber? What rudeness to show... to only show deference to certain customers. That attitude might chase away, say, a high-class customer who'd come in every day and opening and buy you out. That wouldn't be good for business. When it comes to business, you won't get anywhere if you don't jump at every opportunity to make money. Besides, to see Nezama give such a cold look is making me sad. I'm sad. Not a fuckable thing to realize. This one is ten more. Yeah. And after I held back until today to do something to help you too. Oh. Look, I'm not being picky here. Not only had she now burst into tears, but her facade... Oh, her facade was in shambles. I had no clue what to say. Huh? Shigure-chan! Shigure-chan! It's been a while now! How have you been? Shigure... What's with that outfit? Is that what people are wearing now? You're, you're mistaken! I'm not the Shigure-chan you speak of! Uh, stop! Don't pull on my cloak! Uh, 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 wait! Emoto in shambles. You gotta say anything with a tin. Ah, oh, cat! Ah! It won't let me press P! Wait, 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 I didn't read it. Yo, it's been a few days, Chocolate Vanilla. Oh, I don't know what voices to do for these. Um. Ah. Oh, are those your uniforms? Aren't they cute? Talk about dressing to suit your body type. Try 
Turn that to the DP. Oh, I'm glad that you two are doing well. I got worried when you two suddenly disappeared, you know? Yeah, we were really, really worried. You should have told us you were going with Kasho sama. <laughs> Sorry, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. If we can see each other again, then it's not a problem. I'm glad that everyone is doing well. Oh, well, Aski is a genki. She's a tomboy. You gotta make her sound voice and rowdy. Ash Phoenix Angel is coconut is the best. This is a fact. Fight me. Mm. Seeing the cat girls having a happy emotional reunion together is simply the best. The best, you say. Suddenly the bakery was at max capacity. Not to mention, they were all family. Uninvited family at that. It's been a while, Nisama. I'm relieved to see that you are doing well. As usual, Shigure smiled and greeted me with polite words. I will not be filtered. I will not be filtered. I will not be filtered. <laughs> Friends, I think realize Aski is actually best girl. My little sister is, as a rule, calm and courteous. There are times when she acts strange, though. It's only been a few days. How did you even find this place? I didn't tell you. That is a foolish question to ask your little sister, Nesama. Let's just say it was the power of a little sister's love. Look, I don't have time for that stuff right now. Please stop insisting that this is an act. Shigure is being honest. Oopsie. Shigure placed her hand over her mouth. A piece of paper fell from her kimono to the ground. What is that? <gasps> the cats left the business card! When we went to her house, the cats left the... Uh, uh, to our old house, the cats left the business card! Well, what do you think, Matilda? As soon as Mama can leave, she screams, Sags! It's a wonderful business card. How like you, Nesama? Wait, I haven't distributed these yet. As I said that, I suddenly realized something. I'll bend a thing around 27 sacks of cinnamon! Whoa! This is your doing, isn't it, Vanilla? This was an exchange for us being allowed to go with you when you moved out. It was a necessary evil. Easy bike thing with my daughter. Aski is a tsundere, maple is refined, coconut is a clumsy kid, and cinnamon is a hentai. Oh! So when she disappeared at the drugstore the other day, she had slipped out to send the card to Shigure. Huh? That's why she said objective achieved and evaded my question. So earlier, when I couldn't get a hold of you, and chocolate and vanilla stowing away in boxes, this was all part of your plan? Yes, that is absolutely correct. In other words, chocolate and vanilla did nothing wrong. So if you're going to scold your bad little sister, I ask you be firm yet kind. What do you mean, firm yet kind? Sometimes I have no idea what my little sister is talking about. Well, she's always been like this, so I'll let it slide. Still. Well, it was also wrong of me to move out without saying anything to you. Then that's the midnight. Mm -hmm. I awkwardly scratched my cheek while looking away. She's been such a clingy, adoring little sister in the past that people even made fun of her for it. That's why I had to use such a roundabout, high-handed tactic. In a sense, she worried about me more than even chocolate and vanilla. That's why I didn't really feel like complaining. Not a book about language, dollars. Coconut is also the hot girl. Think Kelly girl. Oh. Nisama. It was. Shigure was actually rather worried about you. Nisama. I'm glad you're in good health. Mali OCD thing with that two dollars plot twist. Mama can still lurking. Oh god, the king hobo's in gonna be Wow! It's only been a few days, so nothing's really happened. Shigure had a gallant smile on her face as I rubbed her head. She let out a small laugh and smiled. It must have felt good, as her, for it does for cat girls. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna take a sip. Chat, I do have one qualm. You see when I, when I press P, right? So Maple's the one on the right. I don't like her breast physics. I feel like her breasts move with the center of gravity being in the center, but that just doesn't feel realistic and it doesn't really... I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say, but it's like... I feel like they kind of skimped out with the boob physics. 
Cause like, look at it. Like they move center up forward. Say, no. Askies look a little bit better. Maybe it's just the angle. But it's kind of like it's moving as like one solid balloon, right? Like it's, it's one saggy balloon. And I don't like that. I've been spoiled by detailed MMO physics. Bob's not thinking with five dollars. What if cat girls come from drinking Ohio tap water? <laughs> Delicious. I'll drink it all. I'll drink it all. You need the improved physics mod? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Anatomy lessons with Pippa. <laughs> this is really early live 2D. It is. This was like the... Not the first, but one of the first visual novels to use live 2D in it, wasn't it? Like, just for like the normal character portraits and stuff. I remember when I saw it, I was like, holy shit. Who got a lot of things? Realize Pippa the breast physics expert. <laughs> Nico Power at Zero is much better? Hmm. So this one, Aski, she's a tomboy? Ah, Kajo! Why are you so reserved? It's not like Shigure is a stranger or something. Shigure is really uneasy these last days, you know. And not to forget about our food. And he said maples, ref maples refine. Listen, she really was worried. She'd just pace around the room in circles like an animal in a cage and sigh. Lots of sign. It would have been better if you would at least have told her your address. Unless you want to cut ties with us. But that would be something else entirely. Well, you know why he did it, right? It's because he thought he looked cool if he left by himself without telling anyone. Uh, probably. Probably that. Human males really are troublesome, hmm? The two of them deliberately raised their hands and grinned at me bitterly. Azuki and Maple were being a little too harsh, but even so, I didn't try to argue it. Sorry about that, Azuki, Maple. Right, remember thinking for the five dollars Pippa drinking water, but it's from Ohio. I guess it's probably an improvement over what she normally drinks. Probably. Shut up. Aster, then come to I already feel guilty enough as it is, so lay off, okay? If I ask you, try to do like more of a scruffy voice. I don't know. <laughs> and Azuki and Maple were really worried too, you know. I don't think I like cinnamon. I don't think I like cinnamon, Jet. P button? Mm. Cinnamon's got a bit more... Oof. Cinnamon strangely flat? Where's the jiggle more? Didn't take off, understandable. And he said... Coconut. What was your description? No! Fuck! Uh huh. But as it turns me to... Wait, I, did I read that? The two of them were hunting for Kasha's on... For Kasha's name and she got his town's computer and cell phone frantically. Nice guy, you think, Delis? I'm about to cocoa nut! <laughs> oh, coconut is the hot girl. Think Callie girl. Ah! Ah! I don't want to give her, like, a valley girl voice. Um... Hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hold on, let me... <laughs> Mm. Mm, the two of them aren't very honest, despite being older. No, that doesn't sound right. Give her a southern accent? Southern bell voice? I can't do southern, I can only do redneck. Not applicable to English, don't do valley girl, just hot mature woman. The two of them aren't very honest, despite being older. But if it came to it, I was ready to go searching for you instead of Shigane. Cinnamon, coconut, 
I'm more sorry to have worried you guys still. It won't happen again, so please cut me some slack. I lowered my head towards cinnamon and coconut. Cinnamon has better physics. But I really like coconut, how she has a tail. Right here. And just like that, all the cat girls in my family were assembled. They're beginning to realize. Ah, Pippa, there's an earthquake! Spam P! Ah, there's an earthquake! Oh my god! <laughs> I appreciate the warmth of having my family here right now. I won't let Father know about this, so please don't worry. Ah, I appreciate it. You've been through a lot too. Sorry. The red man then come back. I keep pressing P, but Pippa refuses to bounce. I call shenanigans. Please bounce for us, you silly yabbit. Also, thanks for being based, Pippa love. I don't have those kinds of physics! It was nothing. I will always come and visit you, Neisama. I'll be cheering you on. She wrapped her small hands around my hand. She didn't say anything about slipping... about me slipping out without telling anyone. She just simply forgave me. Even my little sister seems to have grown up as well. Flawless at that. However, mother is... Mother is rather worried about you, Nisama. Once things settle down, I would put it... Oh, it would put her at ease if you'd call her at least once. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, let's pinky swear on it. We linked our pinky fingers together. When we were little, we always made promises with a pinky swear. I'm gonna go sleep and have fun. Good night, inedible rock! Oh, indelible rock. I was sort of looking forward to some gentle scolding from Nisama, though. My wonderful little sister is so spoiled. Nothing! Flat as a board! Well, even so, she's my little sister. Things always seem to go this way between us, so we didn't mind. But honestly, this is a fine and lovely bakery. I'm happy, my beloved Nisama. I pronounce it differently every single time. No longer has to hide his love of baking. You and the cat girls have been helping to destroy all the evidence, though. <laughs> That's because while I do like traditional candy our family makes, Nisama's cakes are the number one in the world. You click on the girls? No. I don't put the I was wrong. This one is you. Fuck you! Even the thought of Nisama never returning home makes me sick with loneliness. I'm sure many customers will come to show their love for this bakery. She said that with a slightly troubled smile. Chigure, chocolate, vanilla... Said the same thing with the same smile. It would be nice if everything would go that smoothly. Just like before with chocolate and vanilla, I rubbed her head and said the same thing I had told them. Cycle face. Wow! This is the first time I've seen the kitchen of a western-style confectionery. It's not quite... It's not fitted out quite like the Minadoki res... Traditional candy-making kitchen, is it? She's cute. I'm not really a fan of her. I don't know. I like... I think like the perfect emoto is like... Kyonano Koska, right? Or maybe like... Sagiri Izumi? Mm. Pretty much any little sister illustrated by Kanzaki Hero, right? But this, uh, this. This is not the worst. This is not the worst. Background noising with two doors. You have to fight your dad for control of Cat Harem later? What? Or maybe Sora from Yosuga no Sora? That was the sister's name, right? Sora? Kimomoto Luna? Kimomori Luna? Yeah. What? <laughs> She's cat! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! She got it, seemed really intrigued as she looked around at the mixers, rollers, and other tools in the kitchen. Not applicable thing with the $2. Her eyes are slightly too far apart in this volume. Maybe that would help. If her eyes were a bit closer. Usually some flaws add to like the moe, right? Like if the eyes are just a bit too big, you know, they help give it some like extra character. But I feel like in this scenario, she just kind of gives like... Mobile gacha... 
game vibes. And not like a good one, like Azure Lane. Your lawyer is on the phone. <laughs> there was a lot of similar equipment, of course, but there were minute differences. Neesama, this is where you make cakes, isn't it? I prefer saying Neesama in traditional Japanese clothing, but I'm sure you and your bakery uniform will make girls' hearts sing too. Uh, if I could, I would install a live camera so I could watch my beloved Neesama 24 7. There's no way I'd be okay with that. Not that there was anything... Not that there was any way I'd be there baking for 24 hours straight. Thomas, all right, then come the baby greetings from Sapporo, Japan. Hello! The manning of the two dollars based in Lulipob. Drawn by middle school. What? Where is Sapporo? But I'm glad that both chocolate and vanilla are doing well. I had no doubt you let them stay, Nisama. <laughs> Shigane took the book on raising cat girls that had been left in the kitchen and giggled. Hokkaido, up north. Ah. I want to go to Hokkaido. I want to see the squirrels. I'm just learning, so there's still lots of stuff I don't understand. Once I'd read the book, I realized once again that my family's cat girls were particularly excellent. Apparently, the fact that they were fluent in our language and able to live comfortably with humans made them quite exceptional. Hokkaido is cold? That's fine. The more I read, the more I realize how much of an education freak you are, and just how well you raise them. It's all because of their strict upbringing mixed with love. It was for their sakes as well. She spoke like a mother, closing her eyes and tapping her chest proudly. Although she was young, I could see she was reliable and confident enough to raise six cat girls. Seeing that unexpected side of Shigane made me proud to be her older brother. I will take responsibility and act as a good owner and breeder. Yes, I don't doubt that one bit, Neesama. But if you're going to make them working in... Oh, if you're going to get them working in this bakery, certain qualifications are necessary. <laughs> qualifications? Are you talking about a cooking certification? <laughs> Not that, Neesama. It isn't that. Regarding allowing cat girls to work independently as employees, a cat girl needs to have an independent action permit in terms of qualifications. Without that permit, a cat girl can be arrested by the police if they are out and about. Besides, they can't be employed without that permit. Working for free is a different story, though. A permit? But our family's cat girls have never had one of those when they leave home, right? I tried to remember the times when our family's cat girls went out while under Shigode's watch. I really didn't recall seeing any sort of permits. <laughs> Everyone always has it on them. Now then, Nisama, it'll come this way. At Shigure's urging, we stepped out of the kitchen. What does cat girl prison look like? My bedroom? Wow, so the bell is their permit. Ah! I remember thinking about the artist. Oh, I read the. Uh, okay, I'm caught up. Never mind. Well, cat girls don't carry anything except their bell. It's inconvenient to not be able to go about freely, so we kind of have to keep it on us. That means. How do I, how do I sound more scraggly? That means we were selected out of a bunch of cat girls! That's why we're different from other cat girls! They say that only one in ten cat girls pass, you know? The study got so hard! I was totally fed up with it! Belonging to Shigure-sama and not having a bell... ...would be an embarrassment to our master. Everyone proudly shook their bells. <laughs> Am I crazy? Cinnamon definitely had the most love put into her physics, right? Right? She has the most boing. She not even friend though. Sorry, I misheard. Are you breeding the cat girl or your sister? <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? Also, the bells don't the bells don't move. Actually, I'm kind of annoyed because Maple's bell. Maple is very cute. Maple's actually probably one of my favorites, right? But her bell moves like it's a flat object. She's got some fucked up paper face rigging. But on her chest. Very upsetting. I never knew the bell had that sort of meaning. 
Six day and then go to the five dollars. Poor Shiga Bay enjoyers haven't gotten a route to this day. Whack as hell. Really? God damn. I thought it was just Shiga Day's preference. They fixed coconut boobs from the original version? It can be shown in place of cat girl identification paper, so it is rather convenient. It allows them to enter buildings and events where pets aren't allowed. It also has a GPS feature, so they won't get lost. There shouldn't be any complaints if they work inside our or your store a bit. But if you intend to employ them officially, you should make sure they have proper qualifications. I see. There's a lot to deal with when it comes to cat girls. Are we at the end of this chapter yet? As an owner, I'd better take everything Shigure was teaching me to heart. I was just thinking about it. The time... Oh, I was just thinking about time to have... Oh, fuck! Fuck! I was just thinking it was about time to have chocolate and vanilla get their bells. So this might be perfect timing. Right? Chocolate? Vanilla? If we can only be of help to master, then we'll do our best! We really will! You can say, Pippa. I guess I could. Nobody think about doors. Pippa, I'm sorry for making fun of your mom and kid watching you earlier, but please don't make them bounce till my mom walks in. <laughs> There's a bit ahead, actually. Maybe we should just save and call it. This way, we'll be able to go out with everyone. It's lonely without company. Of course, Nesama is their owner. You will need to assist them, okay? Bounce? She's got nothing! Yeah, just keep pampering them. Oh, just pampering them won't do any good, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Learning more about human society will lead to a richer life. <laughs> Does end the same? Yeah, I think getting to the end is usually better. Yay! When Chocola has a bell, Chocola wants to go to an amusement park with Master! Let's put the into the Bounce into the rhythm of the Helltaker song. I've never played Helltaker. Amusement parks are fine too, but I want to go to an aquarium. I want to see dolphins, penguins, and blue whales. There aren't any aquariums that have blue whales, though. That's okay. Yep, yep. I was always left behind at home before I got my bell. So I know all too well what it's like to be lonely. I'll cheer you too. Oh, I'll cheer for you too. So do your best and pass it in one shot. Chocolate, vanilla. Yeah, yeah! That's why this big headed mancoon is troublesome, right? It's not a matter of how many times it takes you to pass or what kind of bell you get. What's important is being proud of yourself and not acting so immature that you reveal your upbringing. If you do that, you might as well go eat baby food. <laughs> You failed the test twice yourself, Aski, so there's no reason to feel inferior about it. Uh, or it could just be that you're at a disadvantage because of your stubby little arms and legs. The hell did you say? Those are trademark of a musket cat girl! You damn brats are 20 million years too young to talk, to talk cat with me, you gobby fish! I'm not going to treat you like my senior just because you're older. If you want me to respect you, then you give me a reason to. She's ugly! Seven and eight! F fighting isn't allowed! Calm down, you two, okay? That's right. If you get too stressed, you'll get bullet spots. Huh? Chocolate knows. There's a toy that Master bought the other day. If they play with it, they'll get distracted, and everything will be fine, right? Right? Wolf Star. <laughs> As Key and Coconut really don't get tired of fighting like this day in and day out, huh? Ah, uh, jeez. If you're going to fight and kick up dust, then do it outside. Outside. Just another day for the Minaduki family. And for La Soleil, too. Maple, I'm going to make some tea. What would you like? Our specialty is Darjeelimi. Vanilla, you're so cute when you're obedient like that. Alright, I'll take you up on your recommendation. Also, it's called Darjeeling, okay? Okay, leave it to me. Maple will be the first customer I pour tea for. Cute. 
seen from this angle, none of this seemed particularly intelligent. The only accurate thing Vanilla said was that this was a normal day for the main Anduki family. Man, this is a Denny's? <laughs> Their special tea! Ha! But it did make me think that things would be better outside instead. Okay, no more fighting now. Hmm. Yeah, coconut... Coconut and maple, probably my favorites. I think my top three are actually the three on the right. Coconut, vanilla, and maple. No hard to think of the 125 Mexicans. Pippa's Kudale voice hits different. See, I feel... I just feel cringe doing it. But thank you. This is the scene to save? Whoop. Plot twist, I opened up this menu and the, there was just... The saves all the way to page 10. This is probably... This is probably like right at the end of the chapter, right? This is probably right at the end of the chapter. I just... Just what do you think you're doing? Fighting on the day of Nesama's new start. Right? Or was... Oh, maybe the chapter ends... Oh, we are at the end? Okay. As a bell carrying cat girl of the Minaduki family, you want to be ashamed! Chocolate and vanilla don't have a bell yet, though! Right? So we don't feel embarrassed about it. I wasn't fighting either. Uh, it's because of the dummies that we got involved. What did you say, punk? That's a big talk coming from the most skittish cat girl of the bunch of us. You can't even go to the bathroom at night without turning on the lights in your bedroom and in the hallway. I told you I'm not the type of cat girl who has nocturnal instincts, you dumb cat girl! Ah, cat! <laughs> no! No, what did I do? No, what did I do? No, 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 go back! Go back! I wanted to take a screenshot! I wanted to take a screenshot! <laughs> Thank God we saved! Okay. Make the cute face again. Yeah! No, 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 no! Shit! I did it again. I did it again. Hold on. Sorry, um... I guess control speeds up the game, but it's also the button that I used to make a, um... With Sherex? To make like a, a specific screenshot. That side of you is one of your cute points, little Meito. The normally domineering side of you is starting to become cute too. Yeah? How dare you make fun of me when you're the one that is a stupid in that stupid magical girl set up! Get up. Fuck, I can't read. How dare you make fun of me when you're the one in that stupid magical girl get up! I'll op upload your magic incantation video to YouTube! And she could have done. So the magical girl looks so mean. So what's wrong with her? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Silence. Silence. Once again, today is the day of celebration for the start of Nesama's new life. I'm declaring it a new holiday. Team Goliath thing, Red Lars, so you're totally going to install the- No! I'm also already purchased all the cakes here. Therefore, for today only, you may all eat however many you like. For real? I can have two of them? We can eat however many we like? I never do anything, but you gotta do something with that screenshot after stream, Pippa? No. So are you saying we can eat an entire cake ourselves? Yes, she bought them all. Uh huh. Wait, she got it, huh? Since it's cake, could you get me some Earl Grey to go with it? Ah, uh, look warm, of course. 
Ursula. Master Shigeru-chan, are you fine with black tea too? I'll help. Oh. I'll help. It'll be my first job as a poster cat girl. <laughs> I'll put up a sold out cross sign outside. No, hey, wait a minute. H hey, I said to wait a minute. Hey, Sama. Your little sister is requesting that you feed her. I think that would be a nice bonus for this large purchase. Uh huh. What? It's so good. This is really good. Hey, You're not bad, aren't you? Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, to think there would be a day in my cat girl life that I could eat a whole cake myself. Uh, happiness! I'm so incredibly, incredibly happy right now! Munch, munch. Mm, what a wonderful smell! For a cat girl's tongue, look warm is definitely best, right? Won't you trade my tea cake for your apple pie? But I wanted to try this freshly baked apple juice! Oh, apple, apple juice! Apple pie! Tashosa, <laughs> this, this is my only... This is my one wish in life! Master, we're out of cream puffs now! Requesting increase in production! Sal! Uh, Master, I can't reach the tea leaf stock. Get it for me. Do what you like, don't mind me. And just like that, half an hour into opening day, and suddenly there was a sold out sign on the door of my bakery. <gasps> That's it. This is that's the final ch not the final chapter, but that's the That's where we're leaving it today, chat. All right. We did it. We did it. That was actually surprisingly fun. I was kind of worried this wouldn't be that fun because I felt like Hot Tuffle Boyfriend kind of dragged a bit. But maybe it's cute girls have more power. <laughs> cute girls, cute girls are just naturally more entertaining. Sorry. I really do like Hat of a Boyfriend, though. Hat of a Boyfriend is amazing. Save again? Like, multiple? End of... Stream 1. Maybe I'll do more of that on, like, Saturday or something. You should know Pippa being a cute bun girl. I could tell you were enjoying it, and I was glad to see that. I didn't think it was gonna be that fun, right? I guess... I guess it makes sense now to me. Why Nekopara? Wanna save tonight's super list for a catch-up stream? Yeah, there's an excuse for more ducks. It's an excuse for more duck game. You wanna do more? Yeah, I wanna do more. Mama can help too. That made this so cursed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I have cat sex low in the bottom of my screen. There's not even any denying. <laughs> Just have renewed that thing, Brad Lars. This actually took a lot of my mind thanks to fun chat. It was a fun time. Thank you guys, thank you for all the support. If I missed your super chats, I'm sorry. It just, it, it felt like I was stopping like every other few pieces of dialogue to read and it felt like I was just breaking up the flow of things. Maybe next time I'll take like super chat reading breaks during the little end card segments. But lesson learned. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna have some explaining to do. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I forgot to close the poll. Get the patch next time. No! Jesus, 7,000 votes on the poll. Okay, well, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna close that. Uh? Oh, my... Super chat thing wasn't scrolling up. So, okay. So there were super chats I was missing. Not a playable thing, Delores. What? Play Helltaker. Should we play Helltaker? I know it has cute girls. I really like Cerberus. Cerberus was my phone wallpaper, even though I've never played the game. Nobody think of 5333. Pippa, I'm sorry for making fun of your... Yeah, oh, wait, I read that one. Um... It's short, is it? Chat, it's not polygamy or polyamory because it's... it's... Three girls, but they're all the same girl. Right? I looked up the lore. It's fine. I've got the list. Don't worry about it. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's really short. Like, 30 minutes. It's that short? 
Their pets? No, Cerberus is my wife. Short if you're good at puzzle. Oh god, it's gonna be a three hour game. Hugs for everything, Fred Dollars. Hey, Pippa, hope you're doing well. Did you end up watching the Myth Collab? Any thoughts? I did! I did catch up on the Myth Collab. My thoughts? Um. Hmm. It was kind of short. It was kind of short, and I feel like not everybody really had like an equal time to speak. But it can be hard managing that kind of thing, so I can't really blame them. Um, but it was just like a just for fun off collab, right? So can't really be like, how dare you not be like more fancy with your setup or whatever, right? It seemed like it was just a very last-minute thing at Mori's house. Put it by, I think, Fred Dollars. I just watched the Pink Bunny Girl play Nakupara. I'm pretty sure I just got my emergency pack, so thanks for that. You're welcome. Hmm. Your ass still has jet lag? I bet. It was pretty cute hearing them talk about the cats, though. The cats seem delightfully obnoxious. Mama can turn the stream from an 8 out of 10 solid to a 10 out of 10 certified classic. Well, there's anything, but Lars, you're turning into more of a screeching goblin when there's cute girls on screen, and honestly, I respect that. Oh, thank you. It's not polygamy, it's bestiality. Yeah, it's completely different, officer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fluffy Nickel thing, Rodillo. Be sure to uninstall the patch before next time. I'm not installing it! Jesus. Oh, yeah. I really like the off-collab stuff. I like... I like off-collabs, but at the same time... I feel like I regressed mentally because I don't want to leave the house. Before I was like, I want to go do off collabs. Man, it sucks being all on my own lonesome on the East Coast and blah, 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 right? I want to, I want to do off collabs and stuff. But now as con season and stuff approaches, I'm just like... I don't want to travel. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to travel. What? I don't... So, uh, like, on one hand, you get to make memories that will last a lifetime. But on the other hand... I really like being in my house. I really like not leaving my house, chat. I really, really like... ...not leaving my house. <laughs> and it almost feels wrong to say. I draw nothing until I should've worn your cat girl model. Oh my god. It's not rigged. Or are you talking about what I put cat ears on? Oh, I should've. Lazy Pippa. I just... I just... Know what I like, right? Hope for cowardice. Oh my god, Mr. Erling and Dollars. Every time I leave the house, right? It's like... It's just a bunch of stress and anxiety... And wishing I was home... And being mad that I can't play video games on like a proper setup... And... It's just not... I just like being in the house. <laughs> I just like being in the house. <laughs> she knows what she likes. I do! I like being inside! <laughs> Travel is overrated. Alright. Uh, seems a lot of things, Richard Lars. You're missing so much content without said patch. Oh my god. But, uh... Yeah. And even when I do travel, right? Just like a hotel room is enough for me. You know? Like, I don't even... I don't even need to go out and about and stuff. I will just... I'll be like, oh, wow, this is so nice. I... I don't have to clean up after myself. Aside from, like, the bare minimum. This is great. This is great. I'm gonna sit in the window and watch the peasants go by. This is so comfy. Oh, my God. Oh, and there's a port right here. I can charge all my stuff and not have to worry about electronics dying. And... It's so comfy cozy. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, maybe I am lazy. <laughs> Go to Japan and hang out with Tenma. Japan especially seems scary, right? Japan especially seems scary because I don't speak the language and there's no way I'd be able to speak the language well enough. Like, if I made plans, right? If I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Japan this summer and I start studying up I'm still not even gonna be able to have conversations. So it ends up feeling like, what's the point? You know, it's such a, it's such a marathon. It's such a long marathon. 
that it's like, man... Just get a translator app. Foreigner fear is real. English is common enough in Tokyo, you'd be okay. I don't want to go to Tokyo, I want to go to Hokkaido and I want to see the squirrels! Go to Japan, don't go outside, best. Mmm. 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 I wonder if the zoos in Japan still have the Kimono Friends exhibits. Is that a thing still? Is Kimono Friends still doing cro cro crossovers with zoos? I'd go to a zoo just to see that. Is that stupid to want to go to a zoo just for some cardboard cutouts? No idea. Google it. Man. Man. This is to look. Little steps, bunny. Go for walks. I'm trying. And it's hard. Okay. I'm going to read some of the names from chat. Last time we start... We, we, we finished off on the M's. I'm gonna start with the M names today. Okay? So! Thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Pipkin Pipma. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully with a... Interesting stream. I've seen a lot of predictions. But we'll, we'll see which ones are accurate. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Oh yeah, obligatory merch shill. There's merch in the merch shop. Shop.phase-connect.com You can get a Pippa keychain right now. Very neat. Very neat. Buy the keychain. Or don't. I've got other merch coming out, so don't worry about it. What's up? What's up? Let's see. I'll have to catch the bot. Go for it. All right. M0388, M Hank, Malcolm Liang, Mallow Mel, Mammon Monster, Manny Salcotti, M Antonius, Marcus Minicus, Master Hellion, Mateza, Max Tail, Me, Mechaduas, Metis, Mighty Manatee, Miguel Tato Kun, Mike Campos, Milk Cap, Min, Mint Grenade, Mr. Euro, Mitchell Bader, Mogo, Morty, Mortis Akuli, Mr. Highground, Mr. Jellyfish, Mumber Thrax, Morilo, Roka, Name, Name, in parentheses, Nah! Need Heart to Blitz, Snell, Neil Cavalier, Nitz, Nobody, Nogor, or Noglor, uh, no more please, not one of us, not the fox, yeah, odd win, old iron bottom, one, orange crowbar man, um, Orbacoon, Orc Lord, Pedro G, Palbo, Patron Don, Physical Wombat, Plate Runs, Phoenix Slayer, Python Hair, Andy Depot, R24 Alt, Radical Edward, Ragafurio, Rainbow Dash, Randall, Razmaz, Red Remover, Rich Trunks, Rick Not Rich, Ricky D, Robbie Robertson, Roscoe, Ru Run Lead, Rusty Snackerford, Rusty Snackerford, the dynamic duo! Wobble Combo, Rusty Rod there at the end! Fuck yeah. Sorry, I got a little excited there. Rydian, Salda, Saint Lilac's Clip, Salamandra, Salami, Samuel, Secret Seeker, Sergeant Dornan, Sh Shiba Gatsuya, Shiki, She's a Poster, Shugatsi, Shukter House Jive, Cecil Cole, Sinny, Sir Wentz, Snoosh American, Sophony, Spaniel, Spoiled Dragon, XYZ, thank you for the $1. You forgot Magus! <laughs> Welcome being thank you for the 138. Have 10 miles of tour guide. Hmm. Should get sick of me. Spoon, Squishy, Saint I, Seam Goliath, Strawberry Petal, Super Condor, Swift Sword, Now Twist, Tapper King, or Taper King. Task Manager, Tears of Lost Socks, Data Guy, The Video Game Film, The Drizzle, The Dynamic Doodle, The Goth King, The King of Toasters, The Randman, The Sweat, The Sunny Hobo, The Big Sweet, The Shaved Yeti, Thomas Sue, Thomas, The Pew Pew Train, Topaz, or Toaz, yeah, Topaz, Topaz, I can't read. Topaz, Triptych, Tristan, Twards, Too Lazy, On Erring, Waff, Wozniak, Wiener Hut Jr., Welcome to Die, Will, Wolf Craig, Wyatt, Zalek, XX, Xen, uh, Zin Crow, XYZ, Y2 Win, Yancy, Yeet Master, Yoko Automata, You Are Like Cinnamon, Young Immortal, Zack Fu, Zin Yu, uh, Zil Zamer, Z Star, Zuhark, and Terminator Legacy. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, Kraken of the Sea, Blank, Person with a Korean name and three zeros, and Ghost. Hold on, what does this translate to? What does this translate to? Boko. Boko. Boko zero zero zero. All right. Ah, huh, I think that's better. I think that's a better formula. Doing it in two halves. I got skipped. Winchester Lock. I'm sorry that not all the names appear in the list. And I won't even be able to blame Susan anymore. Good job, Kaki. I think I'm a bit late. I think you're a bit late. 
works out? I think it works out. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name's Tipkin Tibba, and I'll see you guys tomorrow! Oh, to cringe! <gasps> Say! We're karaoke and screen! Oh my god! What do we sing? Something about cats? Um... Hmm... Or maybe like a very weeb song. Maybe like a very unironic weeb song? Because tonight was a night of very... ...unironic weebism? Let's see. What comes up when I type in anime karaoke? Um... Um... I just imagined dragons come up. That makes no fucking sense. Shocking news, chat. A lot of these song names are in Japanese, and I don't speak Japanese, so I don't actually recognize the songs. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oremo. I don't even remember Oremo's intro. I don't even remember Oremo's intro. It's been so long. And I don't think the intro was particularly a banger. Actually, I can't remember Aeromanga Sensei's opening either. Lucky Star OP? Oh, that's a good one. I can try it. I, let's try Lucky Star OP. OP karaoke. Let's go! I'm gonna fuck this up. Is this off vocal? I don't think this is. Hold on, let's see. Oh, well, there's the Haruhi opening. Okay, let's let's try this. Oh my god! Hold on. Fuck, it goes so fast! Wait, hold on. Let me see if this other one is better. The lyrics pop on the screen so late! That's not off vocal! Holy scuff. Oh, oh, this one looks high quality. This one's good. Okay, here we go. No, stop it! Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, come on. There we go. Yeah! Oh, I should test the volume anyways, though. Bah, 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 bah. That's probably good. Okay. This is gonna be scuffed because I don't speak Japanese, but let's go! I'm my son. Nope. I put it together. I It's it goes so fast. It goes so fast. Is there no English version of this? Let's get cherry pie. Look up some page time. さあ、行くんてんてん、超えてかい。落ちたのは私の初心の服だからです。
すーごいーセーリンザルザザルナルテジュラギャラ頑張ってやるけでマイダーリンザーリンピースマリガリもうすぐダイナワイダイナワイおすくちちちみはい絶対にちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっちゃっ She'd be fine with me singing along with her version? Or can I use her version for the lyrics and. Hold on. There's no lyrics in the description. There's no. There's no. I buy sausage? What? <laughs> <laughs> I counted the thing with the legend and then the other one. Where's the Kage thing into the legend? The Henry song? Uh -huh. I counted active thing with the two dollars. Oh, why do you sound like Kiff when he gets flustered? Did I end up ruling before nine? Well, you tried. <laughs> I tried! The English is pretty hard. What? Three centimeters. Yeah, like three centimeters below the fingers. The. Skirt length rule. End of a document thing where gifting a big big bite equal grip. Touch floppy tail. Sure. Let's go. Is touch floppy tail the one I always do? I guess I did absolute territory a few times as well. All right, let's try it. Hold on. No 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 no! no I need karaoke. I don't think there is a karaoke version. Ken! Upload karaoke versions of your songs, goddammit! Silly thing, I just managed to just pass the glove for next secret karaoke. Maybe if I remember. Oh, this looks cute. Oh. Music box. That's loud. Segment though, it's only 54 seconds. It's only 54 seconds. Where does that start at? Ah! It started playing out of me! <laughs> the sing along with Ken. We'll just sing along with Ken. I'm gonna fuck it up. Let's try it! Let me... Arcade is being sued, what the hell? I'm looking for a raid target. Um... Oh, a member of Flavor's Life! 
and they have rebound. So it's time to do business. Strap on my coke. Coke? I'm the. <laughs> We're doing this way. The world spells at your knees. <laughs> Call me the chef, cause I'll make your blood boil. Hold on. Give me some of that coil. Snake oil, cause you know I aim to please. Tickle my fancy, tickle my frosty Don't get me off, cause I'll just get irate When you break the one again <laughs> All these encounters may just leave me scared When I'm rock hard so, 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 Rock hard, I'm hard The rabbit hole of my friend I don't give a damn, not an iota Motherfucker, I'm a straight hit shooter I'm on a quest of which I know they can never fail I will prevail Even though there may be many souls stuck in my trail I'm in love We got the need of cool and fail Only one thing left to do Touch fluffy tail Lately I know I'm going so crazy Never thought goodness would be so hazy Once you wrap me up, yeah you know I'm caught Sorry baby, I just can't get with this Gotta get out and get back to business Or who I tell old suits aside I don't give a damn, not an iota Motherfucker, I'm the straightest shoulder I'm on a quest of which I know that I can never fail I will prevail Even though there may be many souls stuck in my trail I'm in love, we got the knees in yeah, I'm growing pale Only one thing left to do Touch fluffy tail We'll see the light of day again, my dear Let's go on an adventure <laughs> The heavens frown upon us on this day But I got my quota Motherfucker, I'm a straight-ish shoulder I'm on a quest of which I know that I can never fail I will prevail even though there may be many fools stuck in my trail I'm in love, we get the needs and yeah I'm growing pale Only one thing left to do, touch fluffy tail I have one thing. I have one thing. Hold on. Ah. What? A uh, how do you spell this? How do you spell Utawari Ramon? Utawari. Ut ut yeah, just. There we go. There we go. I have one gift for you, my children, before you depart on the great adventure of life. One thing that I tried to show you all once before. And I fucked it up, but I will not fuck it up this time. The 
Behold, one of the greatest videos of all time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of loud. Nanda, 